Yo, Twitch chat, Yop, Ketchup, Desmond, and Pickle. You guys are always like the earliest folks. Rack Toner's here. Hello, everybody. Mandy's in the house. Miles C, Hero of Ancients. McLeod Menace, Sergeant Smokey. First. If you're not first, you're last. Thank God Smokey's always first. Uh, Fidel, Lasbrick, Electric Shot. Hello. Discord lurkers rise up. Hey, McSwifty. What's up? Hope everybody's having a good day. Good Saturday. Uh, I'm not going to be on too long today. Just a couple hours. Wanted to hop on. I got a lot of stuff going on. So just like getting videos and just a lot of things happening. But uh, short stream. Wanted to get on. Say hello. Do a duels run or two. Apparently we started this duels run. I, I recall on Tuesday, with which is the last time I streamed on Twitch. I actually streamed on uh, YouTube once since then, but uh, it's been three or four days since I've streamed on Twitch. Uh, Miles C, though, with the 37 months, my god. Anyway, we started this run because we were gonna do Vandar stuff, but then we found out we couldn't do Vandar in duels. So I have this like Diablo run started, which we've played a lot of Doom Charge and Horns of Flames. So I'm not super pumped to do this again because we were planning on making like a big Vandar deck, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Uh, do I think new hero cards can find a place with quests being so dominant? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm super worried about it, to be honest. It, it's one of those problems. We talked about this a little bit last time, I think, where it's like they're all like historically would be considered very good. I think so far they've got like big effects, big battle cries, very nice battle cry, uh, hero powers. Uh, the problem is if you play like a generally good like seven or eight mana card these days, your opponent's already like 80% of the way to their win condition, if not already there, right? In other words, they've they've had this game plan they're enacting and advancing, and the amount of time you're going to have for a hero card to kind of bear out its power is probably going to be very limited. Your opponent's just way ahead of you if they're doing a faster game plan. None of the hero cards really seem to be like disruptive enough or instant win enough, which I'm glad by the way. I wouldn't I wouldn't want them to instantly win a game. But that that in essence means how can they compete at these higher mana costs if the opponent is already so far advanced in their game plan? And and a lot of the like game plans these days that people are advancing are guaranteed wins, right? Like, you know, quest warlock, guaranteed win. Ignite mage stuff. Guaranteed win. Like, once they get there, they're going to win. Unless, you know, they're playing against somebody else who's doing this, in, engaged in the same race. But if you're playing, like, a longer-term game plan, you just aren't going to win. So, I'm, I'm worried about it. I, I don't know. It's it's very frightening. Hey, uh, Kirsten Lopez with 24 months. <laughs> My God, two years. And, indeed, you have, you have moved beyond legendary. You are in a... You are in a uh, elite group. Thanks for being so chill, but oh, thanks. That's that's kind. Um. So yeah, the, I mean, it's just I don't I don't know how they're gonna have time to make the impact they need. You know, like like Brucon, for instance, like got revealed yesterday. Brucon looks awesome. This is a an amazing like grind out hero card, right? Like if you give this card. Five to ten turns, it's going to grind people out and it's going to win a game because the hero powers will start to overwhelm because you're just too efficient, right? So it's like, well, I mean, what can I do? Now, I mean, obviously you can play like some of these in combination with quests and stuff, but uh, you won't probably need to because most of those decks have such refined game plans that they don't really need like an extra bonus card or whatever, you know? So... I... I don't know. I think it's uh I think it's gonna be tough. I'm I'm nervous for sure for uh for hero cards to make the impact that uh that I think we're kind of expecting or hoping for at least. Hopefully they do. I I, I want them to, obviously. Like I want new cards to be fun and and rewarding for people and awesome. But I don't have faith just yet. I don't. I don't know what's going to come along to slow down these uh, defined win conditions. And it's not really just quest lines. It's also combo decks. 
even aggro decks too, right? Like they're they're obviously sometimes they don't get there, like like hyper aggro decks, but many times they do, and they'll do it before turn eight for Brucon, you know. So almost in every case, it's like, well, okay, I played Brucon at eight. I'm dead to an OTK in a turn or two. I that my opponent's already finished their quest line. I can't keep up. It's just, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see um, if there's things that get you know come in and have disruption or or like uh, like you know really good you know survivability tools could buy the time necessary. I don't really think we've seen any of those yet. You know, if if Brucon healed for for ten or twelve instead of six or something, right? It's like, okay, yeah, maybe that would be enough to stabilize. I don't know. I'm hopeful anyway. We'll certainly do our best to make all these things work and have fun with them. Hey, Berserk, do you think the 17 months? The, the real the real problem is, is like all the power cards are late game. You know what I mean? So far, like I said, we'll see what gets revealed. But you can't you can't print an eight mana card to come in and be better than stuff that's happening at five or six mana, right? Like if games are being won earlier, the eight mana card can't possibly on its own change a meta because the the decks that were already good are doing their thing beforehand. So, you know, you have to either have a cost that's low enough or, like I said, things in the interim that, that extend the length of games, survivability tools, disruption tools, which may be what comes along to give these hero cards the time they need to be impactful. But um, in the meantime, it's... It's really tough. Uh, will you build a Proving Grounds Demon, Demon Hunter next time for duels? We, we can try that, yeah, at some point. Right now, i got to figure out what to do here. We I, I don't really want to be playing Doom Charge Diablo yet again. We kind of landed here because... I was trying to make a Vandar deck until we found out we can't make a Vandar deck. Um... I kind of like the idea, though. Uh, we, I mean, it's just always Rattlegore in this. I, I don't know, man. I don't really want to play Doom Charge Diablo again, guys. I'm like... We've played it 17 times. <laughs> I don't, we've done this so much. Maybe I ought to just concede. This is a heroic run, so I feel kind of bad conceding, but maybe I ought to just concede. Um, let's concede. I don't, I don't want to do this again. We've, we've done this a lot. This was a uh, non-starter run because we were trying to uh, to do Vandar again, as I said. We have we do have that one Diablo uh, treasure I want to test. I don't know if I finally unlocked it or not. The kind of vampiric fangs one, but so I, regardless, I'm really hopeful for Alterac Valley. Right, like I don't see it lining up yet, but I haven't given up hope by any means. Like we've only seen a small portion of cards. You know, there may be balance changes to accompany an expansion. There may be cards printed that provide the, the disruption necessary. I, I'm hopeful. I love the designs. I feel like I feel like some of the designs in Alltrack Valley, power level irregardless, like forget a power level conversation. The designs are really cool. There are some great like push and pull designs and and uh I love objectives. I've wanted stuff like that for a long time. The the like aura style effects, right? Oh man, pillage the fallen's really good. I'm sad. I would love the pillage loot run. Uh, I think some of the hero cards are pretty cool. Like uh, Cariel's like you know half damage thing is really fun. Guff at 20 mana is kind of crazy and hilarious. Um, I really liked the uh, frost warrior armor thing, frozen buckler that got revealed yesterday or day before. So, some really interesting things to work with. Just, again, we'll, we'll see. All right. Uh, heroic duels. Who are we going to pick? Uh, okay. Not Demon Hunter. That just got teased. Let's see what's on my list of heroic duels. Dead Minds heroic duels. Let's see. Big Demon Hunter. Uh, spell Druid with Moonlit. We could do that. Uh, Rat Hunter. No. Death Hunter. No. Warrior didn't really have anything. Rogue didn't really have anything, man. 
could do some kind of uh kind of token druid i guess i haven't really played a lot of token druid lately i mean i think druid is the thing i've played the least lately in duels so we should probably do duels i mean do druid <laughs> d words um what did druid get in dead minds did they get anything cool that we haven't tested yet or or actually also there's new uh passives as well that might be good in druid i didn't think about let's think uh been in new expansion mode. I have not been in what we play in duels mode. Uh, ever changing elixir could be pretty cool in druid. Uh, well, I mean, not not specifically. Uh, mending pools got a little better, but not not that exciting. I'd say. I get his embrace is a little better. I think we'll go for a token druid. There's a few cool things now, like uh, Meek Mastery got more common, which is really good for our tokens. As uh, is the other thing, it's really good for our tokens too. Yeah, we'll probably do a token build. I've never really played that much token stuff in druid, but we also got um, the draw, choose one card thing, which will be really good for this. Even though it's not bugged anymore, it's still, I think, just a great way to tutor your treasure. The Jerry Rig Carpenter, I believe it's called. Is that its name? Two mana card. It's not one mana. Yeah, Jerry Rig Carpenter. Just to tutor this more reliably, I think that could be awesome. May not be the only thing we play. And then also, Death Rattles are really good to this hero power we know. So, egg style stuff, uh, and just token style stuff as well. Um. Do we ever go for a... Let's see, I don't I don't know how else to build this deck. I guess you want like wide board things. So Arbor Up. What else goes in here? I haven't, I've really never played a list like this. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what else fits. I love cards like Koto Mount, but I don't know if that's good. Uh, Grey Bow? Um, I, I'm cool with that. Yeah, sure. I could do a gray bow. I don't know if that's traditional. I feel like I don't typically see a lot of gray bows, but I don't care. That works for me. I love gray bow. Living mana? Do people play living mana in this? I feel like I don't actually see living mana played in this. Composting makes way more sense to me. I like composting. I feel like this deck has enough ways to do this stuff without living mana. Is that is that common? Where is composting? Oh, I like sow the soil, okay. It's pretty good. Just composting as well. Yeah, I probably don't want another choose one card if I don't have to because, or, or at least spell because, um, oh, actually, yeah, I don't want this. Because I would like to tutor Warden's Insight as much as I can. I mean, obviously, eventually we're gonna get other choose one spells, but if we can at least protect it for a little while, I think that would be useful. Uh. What is happening, Shots for Oreo? Not much. What about you? I'm playing Hearthstone. I've actually been playing a fair bit of Runeterra off stream, guys. I've been grinding Runeterra a little bit again. Um, because I start. I mean, Arc I just finished Arcane. It's so amazing. Arcane is like just the best. Unbelievably good show. So. Uh, it's getting back into Runeterra, you know? It's getting a Runeterra vibe. I haven't actually played Path of Champions. I've just been playing PvP. I, 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 I don't know what it is. I'm just not that into PvE experiences in card games. I, 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 you know, I can enjoy them. I certainly have enjoyed, like, Slay the Spire type stuff before. Like, it's not impossible. I like Dungeon Run pretty well. But like, still, I, and I know Path of Champions has those components. I'm sure I'll like it if I try it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I, I, I don't. I my instinct is to go to PvP experiences first and foremost for whatever reason. I don't know. But Arcane is amazing. Uh, this conversation aside, what else goes in a deck like this? Um, I mean, we can run Moonlit, I guess. Sure. I think it's fine. Where is Moonlit? Where are you, Moonlit Guidance? There you are. I like the idea of getting an extra treasure. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
Coin, Bloom, Vandar, and Turn 1. That sounds fun. Pride's Fury, Savage Roar. Is Savage Roar available? I don't think Savage Roar is... is it's not available, right? Oh, it is. Oh my god, Savage Roar. Yes, okay, never mind. Savage Roar is perfect. I don't love... Uh, oh, I do like Branching Paths. Okay, actually, yeah, that's a good idea because it has the flexibility to be card draw but also follow-up damage. That's a pretty good idea. I think Pride's Fury is too expensive. Yeah, I, I think I like the other two options better as follow-ups. It's my instinct, but... Uh, I'm a little worried I don't actually have enough ways to make dudes right now. I think I have a lot of follow-ups, but not as many ways to make. I might want one more cheap, like, death rattle or something that's good to make a dude. Oh, actually, runic egg. People run runic egg a lot. That's pretty good. Hey, immortal NPC thanks for the seven months. Yeah, I like runic egg. This is perfect. We got spider. Runic Egg, this looks good. I, I don't know how much this compares to a normal list, but it works for me. Not worried about it being perfect. All right, Token Druid. What are we looking for for treasures here, I guess? I think like, Hagathus is actually not that good because we want to use our button more often. Um. I don't even know what would be good. Uh, from the swamp? We could do some work with that. Deathly death, maybe. All the death rattly stuff. Meek mastery, I guess, would be really good still. Uh, okay, mage. I'm gonna go pretty fast. So let's let's try to hit higher curve and and damage out, so we can coin here and then hero power on two, and then start pushing. For pressure. Solar Eclipse might be a good way to find a lethal. It's pretty exciting. Mage, I definitely don't want to take too long, though, so we need to get moving. Get it moving. Do I like Creeper better? Uh, no. Creeper is weaker to uh, their hero power. 4-4 four, four is not weak to their hero power. These 1-1s one -ones left behind, though, are. So I want the... I Oh, okay. Sure. Scratch that. No hero power. Kind of seems bad, but it's really not that bad. We just get to hit for four now instead of a turn later, you know. That's what's so great about these egg decks is just the friction they create. The opponent's always torn between like, oh, hey, do I do I kill this thing? Do I, do I take four and kill it to deny the value? I'm using all my resources to deal with this one card sort of stuff, you know. Tough. I'm gonna go for max pressure, right? As opposed to hitting the egg now. I don't need the reload yet, so put these one ones in. Their hero power got better anyway, so the one ones now become a little bit more awkward to deal with. Hey, Nilaku and Voodoo Vices. Whoa, big time subs. Happy Saturday, right back at you. What's my favorite food? I don't know, man. Uh, I like, I just like a good sandwich. I feel like I just often am like just craving a good sandwich. I like various, you know, delights, but sometimes I just want a good sandwich and I like it simple, you know, some kind of good meat and, uh, lettuce, tomato, pickle, light mayo. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm over the moon. That's all I need. Most boring answer ever I'm aware, but that's perfect. <laughs> Breakfast burritos, God, get out. <laughs> you monster, how dare you. Okay, so let's see, we could go like, well, solar will doesn't work. We could go will, solar, savage roar? What does that do though? I can just go solar savage roar. That's cool. uh, so we have four solar savage roar adds uh, 16, well, it adds enough. I don't know, whatever. It certainly adds enough. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just a good deli sandwich. Exactly, yeah. Uh, rocket backpacks? I don't think is especially good in this deck. I think Crystal Jib just gonna go off to a faster start. It's actually pretty decent here. 
We can more reliably hit hit hero power. Robes, I mean, we have spells, but we're not like drawing them all that often to do crazy stuff with. So yeah, I think Crystal Gym's fine. It's just about the most boring and least exciting thing imaginable, but it works. Um, I don't love Wicker Claw. We don't really gain attack very much, but Squirrel and Oracle make a lot of sense. This is a taunt package, which is pretty cool, but it's a little too high curve, honestly. I don't think this makes sense for us. I think I like the lower curve here, particularly now that we got Crystal Gem. I want to make sure we're hitting some early stuff. Oracle of Balloon, we, we definitely have some, some follow-up for, so let's try that. We could have actually ran Oracle of Balloon in this deck, huh? Might be good. Hey, Kazandu, dude, thanks for the Prime sub. Also, Hype Train active, wow. Oh, I do like tacos a lot too. Tacos are, are you know, same, I want I want a basic taco, a, a well-seasoned meat with lettuce and tomato. I don't even like cheese on my tacos or my sandwiches. Uh, good tacos, great though. I always like lettuce and tomato. I like the like freshness of lettuce and tomato or whatever kind of food item. Uh, all right, we definitely want higher tempo. Minion starts here against Priest. Again, we don't have a lot of time to sit around and wait against Priest, so I think we want quick starts. We could go Coin Oracle here. I think there's a very good chance it survives, right? Like, a very good chance. Priest can't deal with Coin Oracle, right? Four health is, like, insane. And then we could go Creeper Squirrel next turn, and this might be the aggro start that we're looking for. This might actually get us out of this mess. Tacos are terrible. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> you have to leave. I won't abide such nonsense. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. I also have a lot of leaves in my front yard. I, I need to solve that problem myself. Uh, okay. This is absolutely bonkers. We need a Savage Roar now. Man, this is insane. What a start, dude. Crystal Gem OP in this deck. Just Palmer. Hey, hype boost. Thanks, Immortal NPC. Yeah, I don't I don't have a lot of faith in this hype train. We just started the stream. These never actually work early, but I appreciate the effort. Don't feel like you gotta push it though. Man, they gotta they're like taking risks here because if they cast shadow spells, like uh, you know, Savage Roar is just death. Um that does nothing now, actually, doesn't it? Uh Warden's Insight also does nothing now, doesn't it? I kind of need this, but I'm going to have a board space problem. This doesn't draw anything, right? It doesn't draw branching paths. It's choose two. Uh, yeah. I need to find that lethal push. Like, I clearly have enough board, right? So I think I just go here and try to find the lethal. Uh, I'm only going to get one, two, two, but... Well, actually, do I get any? I don't know how this works. I may not get any. I don't know how it works. Does it need the board space when it when it activates? No, I get one. Okay. Composting, yeah, it's not the... I mean, I guess I'm just going to have it next turn, potentially. I, I have, like, a lot of damage on board itself, but I need some kind of follow-up. It's really just Savage Roar, too. I don't have any cheaper damage follow-up. Uh, oh, Branchy Pass actually works. Branchy pass be fine. Hey, sirloin steak, dude. Thanks for the gifted sub. That's the heartsy. That's a void shard, right? Oh, hysteria. Oh, interesting. Okay, hit the hit the runic orb egg thingy. Oh, that was kind of like a worse roll. It lost a lot of damage. That's five on board. Oh, but they're at seven. Oh, I'm so close. If that had to roll just a little differently here, we'd be fine. It's not egg. Shoot. I don't think there's anything for two mana here that, that helps me, right? Moonlight Guidance doesn't help. Savage Roar's too expensive. I, I mean, I'll do this just to create more pressure on board, but I might just be dead. I mean, the good news is I'm putting them at two. So... Kind of, uh, if they cast AD Shadow Spell, they'll just die. I mean, I guess they could, like, Void Shard to open. Maybe that would keep them alive. I don't know. I'm going to draw my whole whole deck here, though. <laughs> this gets cleared, so uh, so be it. Whatever. We won't be in fatigue, so I need that burst damage, right? 
Okay. Cool. It worked. They must have had only shadow spells there and um been in a pickle. <laughs> hey John Tron, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Oh, bag of coins is interesting. Uh I don't really have spell synergies though, right? I mean amalgamate's kinda cool. Cause I could proc my death rattles and like you know, stack up my tutus into something more threatening. I, I don't really like that, though. I, I honestly want to take Astral Portal. <laughs> I still want Astral Portal. I always want Astral Portal. Uh, hey, Churchy Cole, what's up? What's up? I don't know. Fair. I don't know what that word means. What does that word mean? Is that from another language? It's a hockey hockey jargon. I don't know. Either way, thank you. Thank you. Ferda. Ferda boys. We got, uh... <laughs> we gotta play Ferda boys. <laughs> Is that a Canadian? Or... I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have tried to watch Letterkenny, but my wife never wants to watch it. I'm gonna have to make time to watch it on my own. It always looks so funny to me. Every clip I've seen has me dying laughing. I just don't have time to watch shows by myself. Because if I'm by myself, I'm working. The only time I watch TV is with the wife, but she's not into it, so. Just stuck. I'm stuck. I'll never know what Farida means. Uh, Bionic Nun, thanks for the six months. Amazing. I'm going to take Astral Portal because I don't care. <laughs> just great. Uh, this is pretty good stuff, actually, yeah. This is a fantastic token. I mean, as much as I want to play this, this is the this is the token move. This is a little bit too taunt oriented. I think we want to be more tokeny, summoning wide boards and stuff. Ferda Regis. I know one day an Astral Portal will win me a game. I've, I've tried a hundred times, but that never stopped me. We're going to try a hundred more if we have to. One day. It'll be enough. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Rattle Gore. I can't believe we're 2 0 on a duels run, by the way. This is unheard of. Oh. The turn one Oracle again. I have to go for it, right? It's just insane. I'm actually going to put this back because it's better, I think, off Jerry Rig. Um, I'm going to be able to go Oracle into Devil's Rig. Now, I think there's a higher chance a warrior could kill this, although they're not running the uh, the good hero power. So actually, they may not. The, the, the you know, attacky hero power. This hero power is a lot slower. So maybe the Oracle could live here. Particularly if they just armor up. Yeah, okay. There's a chance. Hello, Mrs. Kilbin. You gave a funny look just now. I liked it. You gave a funny look. Ow. She was wearing a Ninja Turtle shirt. Or she is still. And we came in front of the green screen and freaked out because the turtles were all invisible. Oh, Being green, you know? Okay, I think we do go egg, right? As opposed to like, I don't know, man. I could go for a lot more stuff. Ugh. Like, like two squirrels. I mean, debuffing this is actually also pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh my God, wait a minute. I could just debuff this and play a rattle gore if I want. I mean, not rattle, not rattle gore, gray bow, I mean, gray bow. Uh, it doesn't copy the Grey Bow, of course, but it protects the 2-4 for next turn. Right? And it gets me a Grey Bow. Oh, I can't do that. That's not enough mana. What am I saying? I don't... I get the coins, but I spent two mana. Well, I can still... I can still do this. Okay, I don't know if this was right. I'm probably better off doing this, but... This doesn't even... <laughs> 
Oh my god, what an <laughs> Oh my god, what an, an absolute disaster of a turn. <laughs> oh god. I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. I, I can't play like this. It's an absolute disaster. Oh god, that fell apart from moment one. I really thought I was gonna get an egg. I really thought I was getting two eggs, guys. I'll be honest with you. These evolves are just gonna get out of control now. Uh, I mean, I can just keep pinging it, but I hate it. I hate it. I don't want to leave him minions, though. It's like... Problem is, I just don't want to trade. I'm just gonna deal with it later. I'm just gonna go wide again. I have enough, like, burst damage that if I just keep going wide enough... Might be okay. Like, this scythe is kind of a problem for that, but... We can just ca keep trying to reload and go wide. <laughs> I thought maybe I was misunderstanding something. I really just thought I was going to get an egg. I don't know why. I, I guess I was thinking of Nerubian eggs, but... Or, I, honestly, I just never play this deck, so... For all I know, I thought Oracle just copied everything small. Okay, that's actually really good. Is this lethal? Um, it's not. Uh, what do we have? Six, eight plus ten is eighteen. It's not quite lethal, but they don't have a return lethal either. So I think we might take it. Right? They have ten, fourteen, and four is eighteen. Like they're gonna have to deal with the board, right? You could arguably trade in like one small thing here. Like go here. Right? Hmm. Just to hedge a little. Because the weapon's still pretty good. I mean, if I put them at, at what do I have? 8 and 6 is 14, 18. Still quite a ways to go. I won't be able to get there in one push. So I think I better trade at least a little. Use the squirrel? Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it for the squirrel. I might want the one extra damage. 7 plus 8 is 15. I think actually the damage matters too much. I think I gotta go like that. I thought that, oh my God, this game. I thought that was when it survived damage. <laughs> I, really, I really thought this card was when it survives damage. I thought if I traded it wouldn't, oh my God. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. All right, no, uh, no uh, spell burst, thankfully. The might mean we have a lethal here. What do we have? Twelve plus six is eighteen, but he's a twenty-one. So branching paths is still not a lethal, unfortunately. Um, do I take it anyway? I mean. It's a pretty good opportunity for a soul of the forest since I'm still not dying and that can help me shore up the board for the branchy paths next turn, right? So I think we'll probably just go wicker claw soul and hit face and then I think we'll be good to go. And somehow I, I suspect I might actually win this game against literally all odds. <laughs> against all reasonable odds. <laughs> against all reasonable odds. Greybow sounds better. I don't I don't think so. Rebound, because it's like singular, is a little easier to dispatch, I think. And this, this just shores the wide board, right? Greybound is better at building like a singular, taller thing. Whereas this is better as building a wider thing. Oh, bro. Wow, that's good, actually. I'm going to end up with four minions here, minimum. They're at 17, so we'll have um, eight. Oh, no, that's uh, it's going to be 10. Oh, but he has spell burst. Oh, never mind. That's not that good. Hmm, why not take out the 4 2 with it? I wonder. 15 is not quite a lethal setup, unfortunately. Now I think we have a good Grey Bow. I guess the question is. No, we won't. Uh... We'll go like this. It's going to ask if I killed the Grey Bow off myself. I don't, I don't think so. 
I like the rainbow itself. It's important. Well positioned here against the second Reaper Scythe, by the way. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. I, I would like the egg to die, but there's no reason to sacrifice a 1-1. All right, we're going to win this game anyway, because I am uh, a really good Hearthstone player, and I am play I've played this game pretty much flawlessly, so... Oh boy, second brawl, really? That actually is a little more frustrating. Second brawl, we're pretty early for a second brawl. I actually kind of need some, some squirrels now. A bomb too? Oh my god, he's at 11, I have 3 plus 4 is not enough. Needless to say. Another bomb. Oh my god. Another bomb. Oh my god. Three plus four is not enough. I think I have to heal now off this, right? I, I think I just have to heal. Um I don't I don't guess I have a choice. Hopefully it's enough. I mean I could still be dead, right? That's a lot of bombs. Uh Let's make it a taunt just in case. I, I don't know. I think we should have enough regardless, so let's just make it a taunt to be safe. Woo! <laughs> One HP victory. Or well, again, I keep saying I'm gonna win, but it's not over yet. I gotta I gotta be careful here. Oh my god, dude. 20 life again. I really need Savage right now. Oh god. Oh, Moonlit Guidance! Oh my god! Oh, it's not a... T oh, I can't do composting, obviously. Uh... I, what do I need this to be? What's a good legendary that, like, buffs my board or something? I, I don't even know if there is one. Uh... There gives me enough damage? I don't know. Okay, that's not bad. Do I debuff this? I think I have enough taunts. I don't really care, right? Uh, I feel like I might as well use it then anyway. It's the same difference. Okay. All right. Uh, we didn't draw bombs, so we th this is like the same clock that we had last turn. Nothing here is, is reasonably changed. Um... I mean, I guess there's maybe one extra bomb. Well, no, that was their last turn, too. If he gets armor here, there's one extra bomb. Okay, there's one extra bomb. This dude won't die. That's all your mana, so as long as I don't die to bombs, I think we're okay. Okay, he keeps playing stuff. Stop playing things. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, it's five. Okay. Oh man, the cannons. Wow. I don't have lethal on board again. I only have eight and he's at 12. This is unbelievable. I can't, I can't get there. Warden's insight. I mean, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it gets me another wide board. This has a gray bow inside, right? <laughs> I don't know what this would be again that's good enough. Um, heal rag would be fine, but it might heal minions now. Oh, that's cool, but again, not actually that useful. Uh, okay, I guess we hit for six and trade in to get a gray bow, right? I, I don't know. Do I play the Warden's Insight? Let's go ahead and hit for six. I think with two taunts, we'll be okay. Uh, does three tree ants seem worth it, or do I want to reload again? I don't think I have time. I'm just going to do it. I, I don't care. Like, just in case, these are the ones that get there, you know? If he has a ranker, screw me. I'm dead anyway. I don't, I don't think it matters. 
Well, actually, no, I probably would have been fine. <laughs> it would have only healed for two, so I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. <sighs> don't rank her me, please. That's, that's the hard punch. Those are just coins, so we're okay. Uh, it's all bombs now. He's nine bombs. If there's any justice, he will kill me with bombs, but there's probably not any justice because this is our stone, right? <laughs> there's no justice in this world. Um, I'm alive, so we didn't hit the bombs. Oh, cool. Finally, when it's way too late. Oh God, <laughs> let's, just, just delete that game. let's just delete that game from the VOD here. I need to, I need to fake something here. Oh no. Oh no, for some reason, the stream disconnected. Oh, this, this, oh no, the stream disconnected and I had to come back and I won the game off stream. I won the game off stream, I'm back and it was played perfectly. I played that game so perfectly. Man, it's really a shame you guys missed that game that that I disconnected for. I I wish I had a I wish I had some kind of uh recording or <laughs> historical evidence. <laughs> um Oh my, interesting. Oh man, this is Wait. These are quite a comparison now, aren't they? I mean, there's, there are still decks that would definitely take Oops All Spells because they don't want minions, but it's just funny seeing these together. This one is literally just your spells cost one less. This one is your spells cost one less, but you lose all of your minions, which I think I actually need my minions. They're, they're pretty pretty uh, pretty key for us. So is, is Mummy Magic worth it is the question. Um, let's go with Squirrel. Go with Runic Egg. Man, it might be. Good with Creeper. Good with Egg. Good with Egg. Good with uh, Grey Vow and Teacher's Pet. Hmm, this is actually kind of close. Cadgars. Cadgars is really good. How many spells do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My only thought is, like, I my instincts are saying Mummy Magic because I love the Grey Bow. I, I mean, I even like squirrels and stuff a lot and eggs and everything are really cool. It's really good with my hero power, obviously. I'm just wondering if Scrying Orb is going to be easier to draft toward. I don't know. We've been getting offered a lot of death rattles, so. I don't know. Let's take Mummy Magic. I don't care. Whatever. Grey Bow is probably worth it alone. Grey Bow is really fun with it. Uh... Yeah, so see, these suck. <laughs> I mean, these would have, I guess, sucked for everything, though. So that doesn't really change anything. Uh, Mana Saber and Menagerie Warden. I mean, Menagerie Warden's really cool. Like, Teacher's Pet, but that's about it. I uh, Oaken Summons has some real low rolls for us. I don't really think it's that. Moon Touched Amulet. I don't really need it's definitely not this I, I guess it's the beast but i don't really want any of these how is that close you don't have expensive spells actually interesting thing to say i think expensive spells are worse for cadgar scrying orb because the percentage of the discount is lower on a higher cost spell than on a lower cost spell it's when you can cheese out a bunch of like zero mana spells or really make a big push where it's like your two mana spells become one mana and your one mana spells become zero where Cadgars is historically best. Changing an eight mana spell to a seven mana spell is not actually that impactful in duels. You know, you'd rather have something like Emerald Goggles for that where the discounts are going to be more meaningful. So. To answer that question. How is that close? You don't have expensive spells. Um, I, I think it's bu bucket three. I don't, I don't. I don't have mana to play survival to finish. That's never going to happen. Wretched Tutor, I think it's too hard to work with. I don't really like one that much. You guys are iron one. I, I I think I like Mark of Yashiraj better. It's got like squirrel plays. It's got uh, creeper plays, wicker claw plays. So it's like something at least. And it's just, you know, sometimes it might just be a buff, too, which is fine. Group learning is insane. 
Do you mean like insanely good? I, this, uh, Survival of the Fittest is way too expensive for this deck, guys. We haven't even gotten to turn six yet, I don't think. I mean, I guess that warrior game we did technically. And and Starfall is like really counter synergistic to us. I, I plan on being ahead, particularly with Crystal Gem. I don't like any of these for the record, but I think three is the least harmful to us. Well, I mean, one's not really harmful, but Oaken Summons is is particularly bad, and Moon Touch Amulet doesn't really advance my game plan as much. I think at least these have like follow-ups and synergies that kind of matter. Mana Saber is probably not actually very good, but it's a stealth minion, which is good for follow-up damage like Savage Wars and stuff. Oh, insanely bad. Yes, no, I agree with you there. <laughs> I didn't come out and say like, oh, I mean, I think you're crazy. That's not insanely good at all. I'm glad. I'm glad we're in the same vibe. Yeah, what point? What reasons? What were you game are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. We definitely did not play a game against Warrior, at least not on stream. We didn't see that, Regis. What do you mean? Okay, Egg on one is really good with our hero power. And Reborn, so that's nuts. I think we can keep Jerry Rig. Warden's Insight's a very powerful card. I don't really want to play this on three, though, usually. I might want to look for something to play on three. Because this is on two. Hero power on and one and one drop on three is probably the better line. Such a good card, though. I think I keep it. Did we did we add another choose one spell, though, to ruin that yet? No, I guess not. It's still really... Oh, we did. We got uh, Living Roots. Although Living Roots would be good on turn two. Or three mana turn, but I don't want to have to play Jerry Big. I want a hero power, so maybe not that good. We did add Living Roots, though, so this did get worse. We need to keep that in mind. This is actually probably not worth a mulligan. I mean, yeah, 50 50 for, for a treasure is not bad, I, I suppose. It's not terrible. I think we still hero power on two, regardless of any curve fit. It's just too powerful, right? It's 8 8 in stats. Oh. I don't have to kill that, do I? Oh, it's a real shame they didn't ping down the egg here. Man, imagine if they summoned me a 4-4 for free to trade into that. Wow. Please play another spell. It's a real shame that... Uh... Man, it's like a pretty good chance, too. Well, not that good, I guess. They only played two actual spells. I, I can't hero power that, right? I, I just can't. I Whatever happens next turn happens. I have to I have to stick to my game plan here. <laughs> Famous last words. I just have to though. I, I, I can't I can't respect it that hard. Because it gives them four four in stats, right? Like I just can't. I mean only, you know, two one extra, but still a lot of tempo that I need. And I, I have to just pretend it's not that bad this turn, which honestly probably won't be that bad. Power word shield's pretty bad though. Shadow visions might be the end of this chain. We'll see. I still need to be able to deal five to that in a reasonable fashion. Oh, the silence, really? Oh, it's bad. I still think we made the right call for the record. It's just so painful. Don't snipe the 2 1. Leave me the 2 1 at least. Okay, they're trading in. That's a good sign. What? Are they going to heal? Oh, that's strong. If it hits the 4 1 here, I'm in trouble. Oh my god, they're just gods. <laughs> How am I supposed to beat this, dude? They are gods. I have to kill it now. I, I can't kill it with my stats, so. What a what a just absolute god tier opener. I mean, I, for the record, again, I think we made the right play not not hitting it. We would have been in a worse spot even, really. But it's just painful how much they actually had the follow up and the pings were going as poorly as possible for us, you know. Basically across the board. Oh, that might be a good way to catch up a little. Just a really high tempo warden's insight. Uh. Could go Oracle Druid of the Reef as well here just to get like some taunts to kind of block this out and try to swing into that next turn if this thing can live. It's pretty good too. I mean, what am I gonna copy? Jury Rig next turn? It's not that strong. 
I'm just kind of in like recovery mode here though. I need a moment till I can find like branchy paths to gain life because we're gonna get burned down pretty hard, you know. Menagerie can summon a copy of this or whatever on earth that is worth. Very little. I just have to stop the bleeding though. And hopefully this is enough to do that. Um what could I hit that'd be really good? Like a gray bow, maybe. What is this AoE here? Condemn? Oh, Spirit Lash. Wow. Don't ping this. Don't ping this. Don't ping this. Come on. Don't do it. Nice. Okay. That's big. I don't know how to leverage it yet, but it seems big. Eerie Stone plays. Oh my god, dude. The Eerie Stones, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the play again. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's not, you know, it doesn't line up super well with this, but... It's got Reborn, which means they might have to push through both halves of this. Or if they don't push through, you know, either half, I might get a good Menagerie Warden out of it, too. Barbara. Oh, my God, dude. I'm crazy right now. Please stop. Also, of course, this can hit whatever pops out of these anyway, but... I don't know how to pull this back. I need, like, a card I don't own. <laughs> I need something insane. I don't know. They're just going nuts. That was one of the better eerie stones I've ever seen, just because it's like got them this board for this arbor up, you know? Oh wow, this might actually be enough to stabilize. I, I mean I still have to worry a lot about taking damage here, but this is very powerful suddenly, as far as a board is concerned. Double reborn teacher teacher's pets, right? That's really good. Okay. Don't they already use their silence too, right? That shard came out early. Was that like copied though? They might have another one. Oh my god. Don't have another one, please. Well, of course they will. I mean, it's it's all too, it's too perfect this game. They've had the absolute nuts, so. Okay. Oh, that's good actually. I don't know how I'll use the coins, but it's kind of cool. Could be like some kind of solar you know, Solar Arbor up lethal or something, maybe. Ooh, Fledgling's cool, too. All oh, voids, huh? That means they're going to try to send four face here. Which I certainly can't blame them. Of course, they get a ping face, too. Great. I mean, I have some lethal outs here, though. Well, this thing can't attack, unfortunately. Oh, but if it's Savage Roar, I can. If it's Savage Roar, I can attack. So I might want to dig through Moonlight Guidance. Right? They're deciding whether or not to trade, which I love. I mean, they're only two off lethal, though. Huh. So this could find me a branching paths out. It could find me some lethal outs. This always hits living roots, which doesn't matter. Uh. So how much energy do I have? Seven, nine, twelve. Arbor up's not lethal, right? Because it uh, it's 12 plus 8. Yeah, it's not lethal, but it might be the best on-board play. I'll just clear these and hope to be alive, right? I don't think I can stay alive anyway, can I? Uh, like, I have to trade. I don't have any life gain, so... Yeah... Any reason to play this first? Not really. Oh, I have to leave one of these alive, though. Oh, wow. That's miserable. Like, it's probably the difference between lethal and not lethal. Because this stupid thing can't attack. They have five spells in hand. This thing deals one. Great. <laughs> like, of course, this is the minion I get. <laughs> ah, they got it. Yeah, it's holy fire, so it doesn't matter. Ugh, man. That was a really, really rough opener. Just like, just, you know, just didn't line up. Too, too many good pings and everything else. Oh, uh. Black Soul Sin is so bad, guys. It's so bad. You have to spend mana on the treasure. 
I, I don't really like these weapons either, to be honest. Uh, Fiorus's blade, I can give my opponent two twos at least. Like, there's something kind of cool there, right? Like, I know I can give them two twos that are pretty easy to hit. So maybe we'll do this. I kind of like that. Uh, no. No, thank you. Kind of dig that. Uh, normally, Feyorus is like, oh, I don't want to kill their 5-1. I'm going to take too much damage. You know? This is pretty good, though. Why not Hyper Blaster? Because I have my hero power that can kill any scary minion. So Feyorus actually feeds into that as opposed to Hyper Blaster, which makes it kind of redundant. <clears throat> like, yeah, I like give them two twos with my hero power, but you know, Hyper Blaster is best for emergencies. I'm hoping to never have to do either of those things. But if I do, Feyorus feeds into my game plan a little more. Pressure, damage outs, those sorts of things. Uh, I mean, Wicker Claw on two is definitely not ideal for us. I think I can do better. Like, yes, I can play it on two. I might miss my curve otherwise, but I think I have to get a better start. Creeper on two is, or on one, is much better. So that's nice. Insight in hand. Eh, it's not really the turn three we want. I mean, it's not terrible for turn three. Could arguably play it on three just to really win the board. Let's see what it looks like after turn two. Cause I, oh, I want a hero power on, on two slash three. This having reborn is nuts. Oh, legendary loot is always tough to beat though. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll try. Hopefully they get some garbage, right? Or maybe they overvalue uh, the druid weapon. I've seen that happen a few times. Where it's like, ah, oh, yes, the druid weapon, and then I just killed him first. That'd be nice. Warden could end up ramping us. Well, it doesn't really ramp you. It 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 refreshes you. I mean, it can be mana, but. That's not very good until way later in the game. I'm, I'm hoping to make an impact far sooner than that. Oh, Dragon Soul. Very cool. Wow. Respect. Uh, we don't, we don't play, uh, egg here, right? We just go. Yeah, I think so. We want to hear about every turn if we can. <sighs> Hit the next, uh. Haunted Creeper next turn, right? So. A lot of damage output. Hey, Mo, dude. Thanks for the two months, Mo. Oh, Park is uh pretty slow. But if they get these five fives to catch up, like that's that's nice. That's speedy. Also killed my good target here. I can kill theirs, but it feels bad. Probably just leave it, don't I? Um. <laughs> yeah, I think I just make another 2-2, honestly. I don't think I need to resolve that right now. Like, an egg, the problem if I go with an egg right now is they can just kill it and I kind of lose a lot of the value of it. So for now, let's just trade up. Keep this really wide. If they have a swipe, obviously, it gets kind of scarier, but... These two twos are a little more resilient against that until they can hit their spell damage button alongside it. And I might just go Astral Portal next turn into Pet Menagerie again. Pet Menagerie seems really strong. We just happen to have the ultimate counter deck to it last game. But otherwise, any of that stuff sticking becomes really cool. Because the pet has like four pieces they have to deal with. Might be very hard. They need like a bloom here to... Uh, to get another 5-5, five, five, or, or whatever zero mana equivalent, I guess. Oh, they had a pounce, okay. Man, this weapon's actually been really clutch for them, that's cool. We're gonna race? Oh my god, that's scary, dude. Soul of the Forest, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I don't have the lethal follow-up for this yet, so I might actually want to trade in just a little here. Um, like, if I had a Savage Roar in hand right, I would just pump it all face. But I don't, I don't have a way to draw one either, so... I think I, I cash in a few of these now, essentially, and then kind of preserve the rest. So we got some stickiness, but we've also got um, some onboard trade value, too. If I had more damage, of course, we'd just go, go, go. Little hesitant here, though. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So we're at, what, uh, 10, 12 damage, there are 26. Long way to go when they're gaining armor off their hero power always, or quest, I mean. They also have uh, Moodlet Guidance and those other armor gain things too, so... Yeah, I definitely don't like trying to race this too much. I think we need to extract a little value. I like that call. They're trading a little here. No, no, no. That looked like a trade. They're still going face. Look at this. Yeah, we'll trade it again here a little to uh, make room for the teacher's pet. I need board space actually for that as well. So even better. While still... Oh, man. Now I don't know. Now I'm thinking about like trading at all. Because they have more armor coming. Really not in a place to win just yet. I got to kind of grind it out on stats. Yeah, I'm going to trade again. We have plenty of stickiness now off this, so. Just leaving it up to take the really clean hit on the teaser spat feels kind of bad. Because we know they want to be attacking. So I can use the taunt to force extra face damage as they run their face into the taunts, right? So by removing the 5-5, five five, I essentially... I think I get that damage back in a lot of cases anyway. Park Panther doesn't really change that math at all, so that's good. We just kind of get a free kill on the Panther too now. <clears throat> okay. So 29, or they're going to be 25. I have... I think that ought to do it, right? Six, eight, and sevens, 15 plus uh, 14. This looks good to me. Cool. Fun. Yeah. Any duels advice, Regis? Uh, build your early deck to, to win early. Like, make sure you either have enough aggression or enough life gain to beat, like, early priests. Beyond that, uh, I don't know, draft. I like drafting for consistency, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know, just kind of learn what your opponents are going to expect. to Learn what to expect and learn how to like play those matchups. Like, for instance, if priest face damage is very common, you know. So often it's just like drafting towards that is going to help you get to like four or five wins. If you can beat Priest sometimes. Uh, let's see. Top Hat is the most obvious choice to me here. We have a lot of minions bouncing around and dying and stuff. So I feel like Top Hat is just really clean. I don't hate any of those, though. They all seem fine. Hmm. This is a wide board package. It's a little slow, but it still feels like the best fit. I don't love the six mana cards, but. <laughs> Just don't lose. Yeah, that's great advice, actually. <laughs> don't suck. <laughs> be, be good. Be good. Uh, I do feel like I've gotten to the point in duels where I could pretty comfortably get. Well, if we actually played real decks, I think I'd actually be pretty good at duels at this point. Uh, minus any. <laughs> minus any mishaps. <laughs> but. Um, you know, if I, if I really focus, I think I know the meta well enough to do pretty pretty well at this point. Because we play, like, kind of janky, just hand-built stuff, and we still very regularly get significant wins. Like, pseudo-infinite wins. I mean, we have, like, the occasional 0-3 and, and stuff where we're playing something really janky, but... You know, like this deck, I don't know, I just threw together whatever token stuff made sense to me. I didn't look at the list, just, it's working fine. Not a major achievement, but also... It's okay. 
All right, uh, we want faster curve for sure. Two mana is really good for us with Crystal Gym. I will probably happily take a squirrel into a top hat. I think the way this works, unfortunately, is that the top hat will not bounce onto the reborn squirrel, correct? Maybe in that case, I ought to go squirrel runic egg to have a particularly sticky early start here. I can also then go hero power top hat next turn. And that way I know for sure I'm going to have the stickiness that I want. Demon seed. Kind of have a dilemma here about like what I hit. Uh, do I hit the egg or do I go for the squirrel to get even more stuff? You know? You think just top hat on egg? I'm just thinking about like if I hit the squirrel red, I get a, a wider board faster. And I don't really need the cards yet. I can always just use that next turn. I think I, I think I do it like this, guys. I think I'm going to pop the squirrel, not the egg, basically. Oh. To get a wider board faster. I essentially get that squirrel back. Well, that doesn't really change anything, does it? I'm just it's just occurring to me. I mean I get the tokens in the deck faster. But I have the same number of squirrels. No, I think this is fine. I like the tokens of the deck too. This worked out okay. I don't know if it's actually right or not. I draw less now, but I can, again, fix that problem later. That's not the... Oh, I got the squirrel back. Okay, so that actually did work out pretty well. Honestly, that was pretty good. So now we can go here. I don't need to go mark yet. I'd rather use it on something better. Uh, we'll just go here to bounce the hat. Hopefully it hits the 2-2, two -two, right, so that it can attack. But if not, that's no big deal. Let's just see. Composting. Oh, nice roll. Yes, let's go. Composting's certainly not bad. I, I don't mind cards. I mean, we have eggs hitting cards too, but this could be a nice hit next turn. Oh, armor is a ton of life. Yeah, gross. Oh my god. <laughs> They're 48, guys. Okay. Card draw is definitely going to be important in this game, as we're discovering. Uh, jeez. Okay. Shield slam? What is that? What is that? Oh, touch. Just to hit the 4-2, huh? Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and compost this board. It looks really strong uh, for that. I don't know if we're ever going to get better than this, right? Probably going to... Um, oh, maybe I should have actually popped this first for the composting. I wanted to draw first, but I could get maybe one extra total card. Eh, shoot. I don't know. I wanted to draw first. But why, right? Like, what am I going to play for two mana this turn that's important? Aren't I always going to hero power? I think so. I think this was incorrect. Uh, well, let's just still see what we do here. Denny Dorn's good, yeah. I mean, I guess you could argue there's like a hand size concern, but not really. I think that's not a big concern. Squirrels are great. Keep the pressure rolling. We like Arbor Ops. That's good. I mean, I guess there is actually a hand size concern, but I'm not that worried about it, you know? It's a illegitimate concern. Oh my god, the Ranker. I'm actually going to burn a card here. Hopefully not a squirrel. There is a legit hand size concern. Jeez. Uh, wow. Wow. That's brutal. Do we just go Grave out here? Grave out Reborn's pretty good. We could go Oracle, Druid. It's like kind of okay. It's wider, which I like in some ways, but I think it's just the Grave out. I have the minion on board too, so it might actually stick. This is crazy. They have so much armor, and they've had really good removal so far too. Knowing that a Ranker's gone though does probably give me a little bit more leeway to reload safely. Or like more safely anyway, whatever. Okay, 
You can just go like Runic next turn, for instance, you know? Or Cash is slow. Like that. Hey, Revolver Otzel instead of Ocelot. Thanks for the Prime sub. And Molotov Teddy with the Prime sub, too. Thank you. Coin into Hero Power here? Oh, wow. Okay. Finally advancing quest a little. Let's take it a bit. Happy to get some chip damage, but it doesn't feel like we're getting nearly close enough yet there, does it? Uh, could go here. This 1-1 one -one buff's not actually terrible right now. Like, is it is it going to get better later, you know? Arguably, of course. To summon four... Moonlit Guidance doesn't seem great yet. I think I'll just summon four because I don't want to overcommit too much. Like, and I know it sounds crazy to go full in and not overcommit, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to play a lot of cards in hand. Uh, I don't know if I've ever done this where they didn't have rush. <laughs> this may be the very first time I've ever played this card without rush. Wow. I need like solar arbor up, right? Or solar savage or whatever as the like lethal push here because there's so much damage we have to deal because they had already ranker and dry whisker. Um, I'm going to need like a crazy lethal push, you know? So this puts one gray bow in. They heal two here. This guy's got a gray bow. Okay. The wrong tree. I mean, do I just go Arbor up here to push or not? Is it too early? I lose some minion value, but... Oh. Okay. It's not an Arbor up, I guess. We learned. I guess I'll just reload here. Astral portal maybe instead. I feel like I want to go wide again though. They just used a wide board removal, right? So let's freaking go wide again. I think we can do this. Uh, we like this better. These kind of lock out the board a little bit, but this stays on curve, I think. We don't really need the taunt, so let's just do this. It's going to draw me one card. Two are going to fill in, so leave me at nine cards. That's fine. Okay. Insight's probably the best bet for that. That's another great reload. Reload like number three in a row, right? But I think I still need that solar. Hey, Teddy Swat with the tier one. Thanks, Teddy Swat. Oh, my God. Reckless Flurry now. I mean, the good news is that means that ate their armor, and I still have just Graybow Chains. Did I lose a Greybow there, or does this still have a... Did that actually... I lost a Greybow just now, right? This is now my only Greybow. <gasps> oh, Branching Paths is insane. Uh, is this lethal with Arbor up? What do I have? Four and six. That's ten. This adds 14. Is 24. And this adds 14. I think that's 38. Oh, that might make Mark lethal then. I think it's lethal with Mark. Hold up. I think this is. I, I don't know. I didn't count that hard, but whatever. Nice. Let's go. Exact lethal. <laughs> That's amazing. Actually crazy. Okay, that makes up for the stupid game earlier, right? Like, surely that does. Even the opener on this, I think I might have fumbled a bit. Not, not necessarily, but it felt like it. That had to make up for it, right? Surely. Surely. All right. Uh, That's too much healing. I think it's this. I don't, I don't totally dig it, but it's okay. This isn't terrible either, but I think it's this. Forty exactly, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you, treasure. First time viewer from Greece. Wow. Ichigos, thank you, man. That's nice. 
I was letting him stream two hours today, guys. I was going to do a quick stream. I got a lot of stuff I'm trying to work on. So it's like, man, running out of time. We're actually winning a lot. I didn't expect to win. You know, you say, oh, you're not going to win. So it's going to be a short, easy stream. And then I start winning. No. What do I do? I tried to misplay my way out of it. And we still won. Guys, how good was Arcane? It was so good. It was so freaking good, guys. If you haven't watched it, you gotta watch Arcane. You don't, you don't need to know League of Legends at all. It doesn't matter at all. You don't, it, it's actually irrelevant. Might be better if you don't. Might be better if you haven't seen, don't know anything about League. You have no expectations. Another Diablo. Oh, slow hero power Diablo. Okay, cool. We're going to go fast, fast, fast. Give me fast death rattle tokens. Come on, get out of here. I don't want these. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Get out of here. Garbage, garbage. Fast death rattle tokens. Come on. Squirrels are great. We love squirrels. Uh, those are egg. It's not bad. Not bad. We'll, we'll take it. Little awkward curve here, though, because I kind of want to hear about the squirrel on two. I need another one drop to go with this on one. And then another one drop to. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, my God. The rattle gores, dude. The rattle gores. I got to win before rattle gores come. We're going to lose to Rattlegors for sure. Maybe I just coined the egg then, uh, and the hero part of the egg plus squirrel. I think that's the line, right? It's got to be. He's not going to be able to deal with this very easily. Even if he gets armor or whatever, like, there's always the second one, right? And if he manages to kill both, well, okay, I got two five fives. Like, that's fine, too. This is definitely the line, though. Hey, Revolver. Yeah, man, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching videos. Uh, yes, they definitely need to do a second and tenth, <laughs> second through tenth season of Arcane. Yeah, I hear you. I agree. But versus blade might actually be really important in this game as like burst damage, right? I need, I need damage. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Hey bro, nice six minute hero power you got there. Sure would, <laughs> sure would be a shame if it became a dino, Mancy. <laughs> this dude has like the strongest hero power in the game, right? This is uber crazy hero power. And it just became a dino, Mancy. I love it. Uh, actually, no, I need board space. If not now, later, right? It's it's fine. <laughs> it takes me to hear what my fucking dino fans. That's amazing. Uh, Rude Digger, thanks for the uh, tier one sub, man. That's nice. His his hero power was six mana. Summon a minion from your deck. It attacks a uh, random enemy and dies. Which is like, you know, usually they summon Rattlegores with it and get a Rattlegore on board for six mana after dealing nine damage to a minion or face. In this case, he has Dinomancy. Specifically. <laughs> that was the first spell he got, too. So it's just the worst. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go sticky here. We're hitting very hard. We have more damage in hand. Can find some burst damage maybe with Moonlit or Worthy. So... I actually don't know if this has any burst damage, but you know. Something will find some damage. Actually, Menagerie Warden right now on the 5-5 five five is pretty good. It's got a death rattle. It's pretty nice. Uh, is this lethal with hero power? I'd have 10, so no, not quite. I think we just make a copy in that case. Play this one a little more straight up. Oh god, double death rattle, so that's annoying. Okay. Looking pretty good. 
<laughs> I hope he buffs one of my beasts. As he concedes, because he might be dead this turn. At least give me a buff, bro, on the way out. Come on. Give me the buff on the way out. Be a bro. Come on, buff one. Buff one and attack it. No! That's a shame. No sub call? I actually, I actually did. I said Teddy Swat. Rewind. I, I did. You might have. Did you step away for a second? As I assure you, I did. I'll say it again just for you. Thanks again for the sub, Teddy Swat. Appreciate it either way. Chat, find a clip. <laughs> Defend my honor, chat. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. Tier 1 subs are really nice, by the way. It's always, uh... You know, the Prime subs are great. Don't get me wrong. I love Prime subs. Uh, but Tier 1 subs, A+. plus. That's, like, really going out of your way. So thank you. Uh, yeah, Creepy Curio is good for our deck. I mean, it's fine. Clockwork's probably okay, but... Token stuff's good. No, it's not bad. Bucket one wasn't bad, but not wide board enough. Not death rattle enough. We really haven't been offered a lot of death rattles since we got the death rattle reborn thing, but it hasn't really mattered. We've had what we needed. We got what we needed. Do 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 bum 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 Oh man I forgot to uh Forgot there's a like master store on right now. Or was earlier anyway. I don't know if it's still on. Oh it is still on. Sleepy yeah. bear. Whoa, whoa, Raven, whoa. Stop invading my stream, Raven. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this pretty good early opener, but I need that early death rattle to really make this sing. Oh, squirrel. Yeah, perfect. Squirrel top hat's great. Again, I think the top hat will fall off if I don't have the other minion here, but it will at least deny them any sort of hero power upside, hopefully. Whoa, elixir and battle totem and mage. We've seen hero power mages. Oh, scratch everything I said. This is way better, right? <laughs> uh, I think I'll go ahead and coin a squirrel here too because next turn I can go hero power top hat anyway. If he wants to hero power this one squirrel, that's fine. I'll still have the, the left over here. Okay. This is really good. If both squirrels died, I guess that'd be sort of sad. Oh, maybe should have hero powered first there, right? Does this persist? I don't even know, but... Kind of wasted. Maybe there's something else to do here? Oh, maybe another play. Never mind. I see. I see. Oh, man. Killing my top hat plays, dude. Uncool, man. Um. Hmm. This adds some debate to the top hat decision. Uh. Do I top hat at the end or top hat at the beginning? If I top hat at the beginning, I could just take a value trade. But I think the top hat will die. I don't know how it works, actually. Let's just learn. I think the value trade makes it worth the learning here. Let's just learn. I don't. I, I think this will not bounce to a 2-2, but I don't know. Either way, we, we got the trade, so I'll consider it we got some value. It does! Oh, it didn't even bounce to the 2-2! It bounced to the summon! Okay, cool. Oh, because this death rattle goes off first. Oh, of course. No, we knew that. We knew that. That, of course, works that way. I was thinking it's the reborn side of things won't work, but if there's a death rattle resummon, it will work. We still don't know if the reborn works, though. I think the reborn won't work. But the death rattle will always work because it was an egg. I was thinking about, like, squirrels earlier, right, where they only have reborn and the death rattle doesn't resummon immediately. Those we still don't know. Or at least I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll just draw a card off this. It's not the most exciting play, obviously, but I don't have a... Well, I go wide. I do have Arbor up in two turns. Probably just going to trade straight here. I don't think I value trade, do I? Maybe I do value trade because of the top hat. 
I'm just light on resources. I think I have to have to draw. But I could also just say, screw that. I'm going to figure that out later or win now and just play like this instead or something. And then just draw later when I need to and just like set this up preemptively. I actually kind of almost like that better. Could also turn a 2-2 two -two into two 2-2s, two but I think I'm just going to tempo the Oracle. They might get really scared by this and freak out about it, even though we don't even, we literally don't have a follow-up. You know, they just might over-respect it, which could cause some friction and let me do my thing that I care about in the meantime. Or I could top deck some kind of awesome follow-up too. That is not an awesome follow-up. Hit here if I want. I mean, I, I'm surely going to have a top hat anyway, right? Well, let's just do it. Whatever. It's going to get pinged regardless, right? So let's just contribute that health to something else and chill. Cool. That was probably the best roll because that's like another really, really big thing. Uh, probably even better than the Oracle because, again, I don't actually have Oracle follow-up. The Oracle's a bait right now. Freeze again. Makes life a little harder. I think this is just Arbor up now, though, and go face. There's one freeze, but everything else is going to be hitting. Oh, there's not even a freeze, of course. That's scary, but it's okay. Let's make him have it. Corrupting this is better. Yeah. Okay. I like where we're at. Hey, Vincax and Skeletal Angel. Thanks for the subs. Amazing. Vincax and Angel. <laughs> they don't have it? Wow. We just get there. Amazing. Hey, Rue Digger with the 1500 bits. Oh my god, man. Thank you. No taunt roll. Branching Paths is a super lethal. I don't know if I had it before, but this certainly seals it. Oh, we definitely did. We had 12 extra, yeah. Or no, 8 extra. Oh, well, no, maybe not then. Doesn't matter. Good win. Good win. This deck's crazy with Crystal Gym. It's really good. I don't know if this deck will be winning at all without Crystal Gym. Crystal Gym giving us the opener on Hero Power, though, is just nuts. Uh, again, Rude Digger, thanks for the 1,500 bits. That is amazing and very kind. Um, That's really, really nice. Thank you. And I will do my best to keep up the good duels content. Uh, I'm excited to get back into standard a little bit when we get new stuff. Well, somebody just tweeted me that they played us in duels. Who are you out there? I don't know which opponent they were. They seem to not do well, though, based on the tweet. <laughs> it seems that we stopped them. So, I don't know. Uh, Fangel Wardens is too greedy, right? I could coin a Fangel on turn two, but it's just not that good. No, let's, let's do better. I'll, I'll keep the Wardens because it is pretty powerful. But I need to make sure we hit a death rattle otherwise. Um, yeah, Druid's really not great. Coin Warden's not great. Oh, Elixir Rally is scary. Oh boy, I need I need a hit here. I need an egg. I need something here soon. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Surprise! There's no more reveals until tomorrow night. Well, there weren't even gonna be reveals tomorrow night. They updated the schedule. Kind of an inconvenience to me, to be honest. I made plans tomorrow. I'm not going to be home naturally when the cards come out tomorrow night because they added it last minute, like yesterday. I think it's like an uh, esports thing. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm glad for more rewards. I just screwed up my schedule a little. And unanticipated. This was a clutch draw, though, by the way. Maybe a game-saving draw, because it's going to be really hard to keep up with Rally Elixir stuff. It's just everything's going to get so big so fast. 
Oh, see? It's so big already. We'll try, though. I think we can try. Do I... Like, he's gonna value trade the 4-4, four, four, right? Usually. Um, so maybe I play this as taunt to protect that, huh? Like, just throw this away, basically. Say, okay, whatever, do your thing, I don't care. I mean, there's the hero power, unfortunately. Might give him a shot at that anyway. But... We'll at least try here. Wow, crusty, dude. Jeez, dude. That was... That was a good roll, I guess. Crusty kind of low rolling, too, honestly. Uh, we can actually do some top hat shenanigans here, huh? Hit here. Nice. Wow. Actually insane. Uh... Do I hero power this to roll the hat over or not? Uh... Or do I... Play, like, Warden's Insight instead? No, I want to hold coin, right? Because I have some good 5 drops. I guess I do. I like going wider against Warrior because their hero power can kill big stuff anyway. I don't know. It's all about the same, really. Little extra damage now. Sure. Uh, whatever. It's like I have a 4-4 instead of a 6-1, basically, is the difference. It's, it's, you know, it's technically more stats, I guess. It's about the same, though. Functionally not too different. Okay. Gonna get a 3-3 three, three that evolves here. Hit my 4-4, four, hit my 4-4, four, four, bro. Hit my 4-4. Four, four. Come on, come on. Give me a break. Yes! I love it! Oh, we even get a clean trade here, too. Wow, this is magnificent. Okay. So we're actually keeping up here pretty well. Uh, do I ever go Arbor up on this? Uh... Mm, I don't have a good menagerie. Wardens is okay. I think I do. I think I just go wide again. It's like really big. It's four minions. These stack up like It might just be game ending soon with branching paths, right? What is this uh, 18 damage plus eight from branching paths, right? That's technically 26 so Living roots gives me a bonus even if he clears something not enough to catch up maybe but Still it's pretty good. Oh, that's a great minion for that set of hero powers. Wow. Wow, what a play. Oh, uh, actually, I guess they can't double trade it, though. Then I can just maybe go face. Why? Wait a minute. Why didn't they? They could have always hit this 5-6, and then I guess they wanted a minion left behind, but I don't know. That seemed a little, a little weird. 14 here. I kind of need to kill the dude is the problem. Yeah, these aren't any lethals. Uh, I might just refresh here, though, and play that Teacher's Pet because it gets me another one in hand, and it's just really annoying and sticky, right? Question here is, is do we trade or not? I don't think so. I think I have enough stickiness there that I can just start turning face and trying to find that lethal soon. Like, yes, yeah, Silas could evolve into something scarier, but uh, that that means he's not trading, right? There's no other minions on board that have trade that have stuck around in that case. You know, it's a chance at least. I think this is better. Taunt is kind of annoying. Uh, double taunt is even more annoying. One of these could easily get evolved, though. Oh, well, that seemed like a good roll. That opens up your face to clear that. Uh... Or maybe use the 3-3 three, three to trade if you want, but I think you need the taunt. I don't know. This hits everything, so it's not bad. Problem with attacking the taunt right now is you just give me two minions instead of one, right? It's kind of scarier. Uh, as this currently stands, we'd have a lethal. Freebooter for, for two? Oh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. 
Okay. This is just lethal here. Assuming no taunts anymore. Cool. Nice. Snake's good, dude. This is really good. Is Token Druid always this good, or are we just clutching it because of mummy magic? I don't really know. I never really play Token Druid in duels, but it's it's doing really well. Ah, uh, Murloc Holmes, Beastly Beauty. I don't think I care about Mage Armor at all. Beastly Beauty. Uh, does she become a not actually a beast, right? She becomes a worgen. So that loses our beast synergies. I think it's Murloc Holmes in that case. He's the lowest curve, so it seems good. Man, we are getting a lot of no more pleases. Is this better than no more please? Boy, it's really good. Um, Cause Greybound and Teacher's Pet are both nuts and Play to Beetle is not bad. Remember Play to Beetle has Reborn, which makes him really strong. Man. Um, what's crazy is normally I would say no, never, because it pushes me further away from my treasures. But I actually think these are better than my treasures. Like a gray bow is way better than my treasures. You know, it, I don't really, I'd rather have gray bows than treasures. I think I actually take this bucket. I'd rather have gray bow than an astral portal. I'd rather have gray bow than a Feoris's blade, probably. I think this rarely actually improves the quality of my deck. And yeah, teacher's pet's been nuts too, yeah. Wow, weird. I almost never do that, but it's I think it's worth it. All right, I gotta take a pee break. I'll be right back. We'll keep this run rolling and uh, see you on the other side. All right, Tentacular Moth, thanks to the Prime sub. Very kind. Uh, nuclear Fart, 69. <laughs> uh, I'm not just randomly saying those strings of words. That's a name in chat. Uh, what's some advice if you don't have a lot of cards for a dual stack? I'd just say make sure you have a good curve and play to your treasures. Treasures are more powerful than cards, so um, build towards a treasure and just keep a low curve. <laughs> Nuclear Fart 69. Thanks for your <laughs> thanks for your comment. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh guys, I posted my scabs uh book of mercenaries video by the way if you didn't uh if you didn't know. I, I know I'm like a week late, but I just didn't have a window. We were doing card reviews every day until till today. So finally got the scabs book of mercenaries out. It's pretty good. It's short and easy. Fun though. I'm thinking that video might actually get less than 10,000 views. The Book of Mercenaries videos always do like, I don't know, 15 to 20,000 or something, right? But that's the, when I post them the day of. They get that many when I post them like immediately. This was posted a week late. So I'm thinking if it can get to 10, it might be a great success. I thought it might get a bump because um, I don't know if Trump posted one. I have a feeling Trump probably didn't do one because he hasn't been playing as much Hearthstone. So sometimes, you know, like we compete for views there. If somebody watches Trump, they're not going to watch me do it. Um, I don't know if he did, though, because it's, it's been a while and he's, you know, playing uh, Age of Empires or whatever. They made Book of Mercenaries too easy. I actually like it easy, personally. I, I know that's not always a popular opinion. I totally understand why you might want it more difficult, like make it more challenging and rewarding and stuff. But for me, I'm only really playing it to like get exposure to the storyline. And if it's like stressful and I gotta, if I have to do the same fight three times, I'm I'm like not into it. I just want to get the story, you know, drip feed the story into my veins. Don't make me bash my head against a hard fight you know or it's not even usually that they're hard it's they're kind of like high rolly you get unlucky or whatever you just kind of have to find the right sequence sometimes to get it there i would rather it, it uh be manageable and consistent and stuff so okay there is magic you do not know you know some some single player card games you play for mastery like slay the spire 
some you play for story. If I'm playing it for story, I don't want to have to play for mastery too. Personal preference though, I get it. Uh, Jerry Rig's not actually that good anymore. I think we just want to push for hard death rattles early. Again, I, they're better than like even a treasure like Creepy Curio. It's just not that good for us. This is a way better hand. Okay. Some of this is like, uh, I don't know if we're going to piece all this together, but Squirrel at least is a good opener. I think an egg would, would be the top, top choice. Fire Shaper, Battle Totem again and Mage. Battle Totem and Mage are getting a lot of play. It's the hero power stuff. It's really cool. I mean, do I go already? Hey, whoa, TX Maverick, man. Thanks for the tier one gifted subs times five. Grats to Stag, Cypheron, Baylor, Xavier, and Evil Lime. Mrs. Kilbin is a painter. She's going to paint a house today. You want to come on stream? You look cute. You know how people see your cute headband? It's like right here. It's just so easy. You just walk around and show your cute headband off. People will be so excited. They'll wonder what you're painting. <laughs> <laughs> she has like overalls on like like painters overalls kind of thing is it overalls or jumper i don't know what it's called a denim jumper excuse me god forbid god forbid all right i don't think this is good enough against the hero power honestly i'm gonna play for more of a mid game approach this game so double gray bows certainly seems to achieve that um if i can go squirrel hero power next turn we will of course i'll so just do it because i have it but Preserving coin for a turn four gray bow sort of thing. I think that's going to be a better play for us. Chat wants headbands. I, I tried. I tried. Boop. Squirrels. I mean, acorn squirrels could be important in this game. I mean, I, you know, I need to stick a wide board at some point, so. Coin gray bow on four. Now we learned, well, we didn't actually learn, but we still, we still suspect that the reborn gray bell will not activate itself, right? So I will need another minion on board. Wow, what a snipe, dude. I, I, we, we suspect we'll need another minion on board, right? That's my, my uh, estimation anyway. That's my because because reborn goes after death rattle always. I think I will need a second minion on board. Well, I mean, which I think we'll have this turn, but they can always maybe kill the small ones first. So you know, a little, little risky, but I have two at least. So maybe if they like leave the gray bow and think I'll deal with that later, we play the other one right, and then it's like oh god. I'm in trouble. Uh, that said, there's always devolving missiles, so even that is not a safe bet. Well, I got—I must have gotten a squirrel because I got an achievement for squirrels. <laughs> Just kind of everybody shuffling achievement, whatever that is. So I must have gotten some squirrels or a squirrel in this case, I guess. Yeah, we'll try it. Uh, is this counter spell? Maybe actually, we don't know. It's not a mere entity, is it? Oh. Oh my. It's not a mere entity, is it? It's not. Boo, is it a mere entity? You think it's a me Oh, your ponytail's cute. I love the ponytail. I didn't know you had a ponytail. You had the headband on. I couldn't see it. Tell me yes or no. You think yes, it is. I think you're wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. I think you're wrong. You were wrong. Thank God I trusted my instincts. You led me astray. You siren. <laughs> With your ponytail. Alright, that's good news. Good, good news. It's the draw one. Oh, rigged fair game. Could be rigged fair game. Yeah. I don't think ice block's insane either, by the way. Could be ice block. Hey, Dragonheart, thanks for the two months, man. 
Did I teach her what mirror entity is? No, I just said yes or no. <laughs> she had no idea. Uh, she knows less than nothing about Hearthstone. Honestly, like, for me having made this a career for five years, she knows the name Ragnaros. That is about the extent of Mrs. Kilburn's Hearthstone knowledge, I think. That's it. Uh, do I kill that thing? Am I really that worried about it? I mean, it's like the reborn honestly kind of makes it annoying. I'm honestly going to. It could be. It could be a, a, a idiot though. It could be an idiot though. You know, what if it's a what if it's a freezy boy idiot? I'm just worried a little bit because the reborns come back at one health. I guess that's fine. Who cares? I don't know. I was going to go in 12 minutes. I don't have time. <laughs> I was going to do a two hour stream. Uh, so I don't know. It's whatever. Who cares? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Guys. <laughs> Guys. I mean, this might still be right if that's Freezy Boy. I, I don't know. I'm just worried now because if they kill both Grave Owls simultaneously... Uh, oh, it looks like they're not going to. That's just five. Okay. That's okay. Uh, now I guess the question is, do I kill the Grave off because I can... Um... Chain them, right? Or do I maybe just go Faerus's Blade here, honestly? Yeah, and then I can summon some Living Roots, maybe... I don't know, I should I should honestly kinda kill one, right? To to stagger them. Could go Fandral, Living Roots, Living Roots. It's a full on board. Hit for twelve. Put them at twelve. I don't have any lethals or anything, do I? Like solar branching paths is actually what, sixteen? That's almost lethal. I think I'm just gonna go Feoris's in face, honestly. I think if I play Feoris's blade here and like set up for the win. Um, oh, it was the Freezy Boy. It really was the Freezy Boy. Vaporize, okay. I don't know if these saplings is right or not. I, I like having extra minions on board for the gray bows, but also it plays into that four drop battle cry thingy pretty hard. And now that there's a freeze too, like this face line's worse. I mean, I have two taunts. Hopefully that's enough, but they could easily trade this one two and then play the battle cry freezy guy, the battle cry guy, and then freeze my face with that three six. So I'm like kind of in a spot where um, I guess I get more. Grey bows, though, in that case. That wouldn't actually be a problem. Never mind. That would be totally fine. Oh, they're gonna fully board clear this? All the Grey bows simultaneously for six mana? What do they have? Like, Book of the Dead, or...? Oh, yeah, Book of the Dead. Wow. It's super impressive, and now I'm frozen. I'm screwed. That went very poorly. I kind of have to kill this now, because... I need... Oh, my God. What a turn! Oh, my God! Book of the Dead just owned. Huh, this always hits uh, Warden's Insight, right? Not any good, though. Doesn't play off uh, Fandral anymore. Oh my god, what a swing turn, dude. That Book of the Dead was clutch. Uh, I can, like, remove the Taunt or the Freezy guy... I, I kind of... Uh, uh, well, there's more Freezy guys is the problem, right? So that doesn't really do anything. I kind of need to create a scenario where the Freezy guys... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. This is spooky, guys. Uh, I don't know. I feel kind of dead. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to like get to a point where I can use this weapon again, right? I committed to this weapon and then all the freezes started happening and it's like really bad. Solar branching buys me time if I need it. Like as long as I'm not dead this turn, I could be dead to uh, Mordrush here. But if Mordrush doesn't kill me this turn, 
Oh my god. I actually don't, I just don't have an interaction with that, right? There's no... I have no mechanism to beat that. Uh... Can I heal enough here if I, like, kill the freeze? What are they, 24? Uh, plus another 2-2. Two, two. That's 8, and 24 is 32. Yeah, I can't actually heal enough. Then I could maybe go phase at 17. I'd have 10 here. I'd be short... Seven damage. Do I have any way to deal seven damage from hand? Well, the weapon would be another five the turn after, but no, I can't wait a turn after. I have to go now. <sighs> I don't see an out, guys. I don't see a path forward here. Like, Murloc Holmes could maybe do something with, like, a freeze. Oh, no, this always happens, so I have to do this. I, I think I have to do this just to, to make my face possible next turn. It just sucks. Um, so, like, you know, I, 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 I'm i sort of technically setting up, but I need... I don't know. I don't know what I need. I don't think I have any direct face damage, right? Maybe a bunch of acorns. I, they're too late, though. They're too late. Uh Oh... Oh god, a scroll could have actually bailed me out there. A scroll into like a twisting nether. <gasps> oh no, what? I, I don't think we really had a way to get there anyways. I'm not like super stressed about it, but that did suck. Uh, was well, there any? I don't think there's really any out in my deck. I don't really have any generation, right? There's... I could have maybe played some taunts or something, but I don't think we would have got there. It was really tough. No. No. A twisting Nether would have been some justice. Well, they didn't really do anything to demand justice, I guess. I don't know, maybe the Ferris' blade was wrong, right? We we kind of like um I I, I it made sense, right? There's nothing wrong with when we played Ferris' blade. Like setting up to make sure we had some lethal pushes outside of our board was reasonable because we had we had like the kind of gray bow set up to sort of cement the board. So I thought like shifting into the next gear to make sure, you know, we presented lethal threats made sense to me, but well, yeah, I mean, they just had Book of the Dead, right? It's just Book of the Dead won the game. I don't. I think I'm overthinking. I think that was right. We could have honestly, like, recommitted to the board a little bit, but Book of the Dead still would have really, yeah, uh, solved that problem. It's just such a swing turn. Uh, Labita Grip, dude, thanks for the uh, Prime sub. That's awfully nice. Does Merlock Holmes interact with cast when drawn cards? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I don't know if I've seen that yet. Kind of makes sense that it would, based on the wording as I recall it. <laughs> okay. Duels. I know somebody's out there. It's Saturday, duels. Come on, duels. I can't be the only person with eight wins.
Have you seen the new Mountain Dew Flaming Hot? I I only drink Diet Mountain Dew. I'm not up on the, the variety of Mountain Dew flavors. I mean, I've had some Code Red Diet Mountain Dew as well, but um, I don't drink regular Mountain Dew, so I guess I haven't even seen that. No, I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't... I didn't know. What makes it flaming hot? Is it, like, actually spicy? I don't... I, I like spicy stuff pretty well, but I don't know that I would particularly like a spicy drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Katie Page does the same. Spicy drink. Ooh. Spicy Mountain Dew. I... I... I find regular Mountain Dew too sweet. Like, I, I like, like, Coke, um, as far as, like, regular sodas are concerned. I don't drink it regularly, but if we're, like, at a restaurant or whatever, I'll get a Coke. That's good. Actually, like, Lucky Cola they have around here. It's really good. It's really smooth. Less sweet. But Mountain Dew to me is, like, too sweet. It tastes, like, just, like, overwhelmingly sweet for real Mountain Dew. Maybe the spicy would help balance it out, though. Who knows? All right. I actually kind of like this start. I don't know if there'll be enough squirrels to... I don't know. Actually, I, I, I kind of regret this now. I don't know. I, I really need eggs. This deck shines the best when we have eggs. I don't know. <laughs> I actually have, I have Coke Zero today, actually. Weirdly enough. That's all they had at Costco, so we bought some Coke Zero. The first ever beverage combining the sweet citrus flavor of dew with a spicy kicked up flavor of flaming hot. Oh, so it's a flaming hot Cheetos crossover for the most extreme taste experience yet. Wow. I want to be the person who writes the copy for these, by the way. It's so funny. Uh, we'll just, yeah, this actually I think is maybe better. Now that I get to, I didn't think about hero powering twice. This is pretty good. It's 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 16 squirrels in the deck. It's six attack and stats each turn. Like this is pretty good, honestly. I might play a curio on three. It's not bad. Who are their treasures? I honestly didn't even look. Oh god, I didn't look. Do oh why doesn't Deck Tracker have them up? Oh god, guys, what were their treasures? We were talking about flaming hot Cheetos. I see mine. I didn't see theirs. What were their... Oh, here we go. Rally and recycling. Okay, recycling is eh, kind of a pain, actually. Might add up to a lot of removal, unfortunately. Or, I mean, a lot of stall. A lot of removal, obviously. Teacher's Pet's a good card. We like Teacher's Pet. We'll keep this pressure rolling. Arguably more beneficial to keep something at two health, but I, I don't think this early will matter that much. I also don't want too many squirrels in all at once, right? You kind of have to have a mix here a little bit. Um, so yeah, Curio on three. The Teacher's Pet Menagerie Warden is a beautiful setup, but I don't know if I'm going to want a branching paths on four. Maybe if there's like enough squirrels on board, but usually it's going to be pretty weak. Two minions die here. Probably trading back in a little here too. Oh, we did get a squirrel. Okay. Oh, gray bow's fun. Okay. I mean, I think the deck is dense enough. I can continue trading in squirrels, right? It's honestly debatable if a hero power here is better than than this, but I, I guess this is probably better. The curio gets decent at the end. It's not great though. All right, I mean, this is def... If they don't clear enough, I mean, Branchy Paths is obviously going to be really strong here. Uh, you would expect they clear at least one minion, though. And if they can play two pirates, you know, chip through a lot of the board, actually. Juggernaut's going to be tough to beat. Okay, that's not that strong. They have a follow-up? Yeah, but again, not actually that strong. Does this make Branchy Paths worth it for five minions? My god, it seems like it should be. Haunted Creeper's really strong, but this is a lot of stuff. Do I trade in here or just go face? If I don't trade in, I do risk uh, suffering from... Well, I think there's two problems, actually, if I don't trade in. 
Um, pings off the pirate thing mean I lose a lot of these minions anyway. Number two is um, I leave stuff on board to threaten the teacher's pet when I really want the teacher's pet actually to survive so that I have the menagerie warden. Although I may just play a gray bow, I don't know. These are both... I think actually this is probably better when I have menagerie in the in the pocket though. We'll see how we feel. Pings here could be very, very, very crazy. Oh good, one with face. That's really nice actually. I guess they still fully clear though. But at the very least, um, these four attacks do now contest that 3-4, which is nice. Uh, this doesn't feel like Greymouth because I don't have any minions up, right? This feels like Teacher's Pet. It's also just really sticky. It's four minions in one. So crazy. We're going to get a Rokara soon. So, Oh, does the Acorns change the Grey Bow at all? Oh, man, they might. Um, hmm. This can still snipe, but I have two. I don't know. This is just so good with the Menagerie Warden. I definitely don't want this game to go too long. I'm going to still stick to this plan. It's just so much pressure. It's actually more like threatening than Greybow, right? Greybow is like more value, more long term, but I don't want to have to play against Juggernaut for too long. So although recycling adds to my clock a little, I, I think I still ultimately want to create a lot of pressure outlets. I think uh, this into Menagerie Warden does that the most likely. Hopefully I can keep one of the Reborns alive here for the Menagerie Warden. It seems I will not though, sadly. In that case, Greybow might make more sense. Uh, okay. Greybow might just make more sense here. I mean, this is a pretty good beast to copy though, honestly. Oh, this is good too, man. A lot of damage here. Gonna kill this. Sure. I mean, this is stealthy, which is nice. Um. Oh wow, Warden's insight, huh? Do I go wide here? No. I just wish I had one more mana for the Graybow. I think I'm gonna save the Graybow for the Haunted Creeper, right? So I can play those together and create like a really, really sticky scenario where it's hard for them to get through the gray bows. Yeah. I mean, clearly this isn't as good as we would have liked. I obviously would have preferred uh, the the teacher's pet, but it's not terrible. We're really close to getting lethals, which is nice. Use Rokara to bounce here. I don't, either one's fine for me. I guess the 4 4 is technically better. They're at 15. I go Graybow Creeper. I think I hit face still just because we're so close. I mean, killing Rokara is enticing, but we're so close. And Graybows are so sticky that I think we'll. I think we'll stick enough to get there. Scary though, because the cannon hits are scary. Every everything's scary, basically. Oh, they got an armor card and snipe my four two. Ugh! The armor card is gross. I, I man, that's so gross. Ah! I need something I don't have. Gray bows are great though. I love the gray bows. Gray bows are gonna be gross. What do I need? I need, well, maybe like Savage Roars, obviously. I don't know. Oh my God, the armor guy armor. Oh, God, the hitting the armor is going to steal this game for me, isn't it? God, that's good. Just magic nine armor out of thin air. Like, come on, any other pirate would have been fine. I mean, I guess Smite would have been worse, arguably, but... Gosh, dang it, dude. 
That is, oh my god. He could have done it anyway, it turns out. Okay. Never mind then. Just casual 12 extra armor. Are you serious, man? Harper up. I can't even race these things. Like, what good does the arbor up do? <sighs> like, I can't, I can't outpace these. Who has the, who has the gray bows? This is two gray bows. Okay. I just feel totally hopeless. I want to trade these in. It's just awkward math, like to hit this though, because I want the gray bows back. So I need to hit this. But then the math is weird if I don't arbor up as well. I guess I'll just do this then. Oh, that actually makes my life kind of hard. Um. I'm an idiot. I did that backwards. It actually worked out. I I, I like this better, honestly, because I leave behind the six. I did it the way I did. I didn't do it the way I wanted to, though, to be honest. But at least the six attack out was just pretty good. I was planning to arbor up and then trade, although that would have been worse. I'm glad I did it this way. Buffing the the buffing the uh, gray bows makes way more sense. Uh, and I had to I had to do this order too because I had to be able to kill that thing. So I guess this was actually right, despite my best efforts. <laughs> Despite everything I tried, I think I might have got it right, actually. Uh, I think we're still screwed, though. It's just all that healing. I can't I can't beat it. I, I think I could have been fine if they didn't magically heal 12. Like, I think we would have got there. But as it currently stands, that's going to be really tough to beat. Shiver. Okay, sure. Are they going to trade in these four sixes or not? Like, just kind of leave the grave out, I guess. What can I possibly hit here that's good? I need, like, a wand. We never got, like, a wand of disintegration this run, you know? I think that's what we needed is, like, wand, exactly. Uh, Teacher's Pet's amazing. I can push through, like, a 4-6 here. Just do the thing here. Make this pretty, pretty efficient. Um, and then I guess just teacher's pet, honestly. I think that's fine. We'll trade in here, bounce the gray bow up. Uh, do I want it on the teacher's pet? Maybe, yeah. Actually, that'd be fine. So let's play this first. It might also hit the 1-1, one -one, which is fine, too. Oh, it's summoning one for now. Never mind. I'm stupid. Okay. Is this worth pinging off? I mean, I think I'll save that for like a solar or something or a fandral. I don't know. <sighs> like, I don't think these gray bows out grind the juggernaut, honestly, or the healing. Uh, if they run out of cards, maybe the gray bows can. Like, there's a possibility, but I don't see it. Uh,. Warden's inside at this point. I just don't have enough cards to make that. Like, I, I guess um, a composting could be pretty good for us right now. Could give me the cards I need. So they're back up to 32. So crazy, dude. <laughs> it's just so nuts. I mean, a solar, like, you know, Savage Orc can always win a game. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count myself out here or anything. Just trying to sort this out. Well, they got kind of a lucky roll there, right? They could have accidentally gray bowed that that might be a good living roots target now oh what does this guy do buffs any minion yeah it's actually buffs these too so kind of nuts all right so hit hit buff these oh interesting order there I guess just shuffling it in that makes sense i mean it's kind of crazy at this rate i can like practically This is a really good turn, by the way. I return, I return. 
like a really good turn. Wow. I feel like I'm actually sort of kind of back in this now, right? Um, That's a good pirate, though, man. It's card draw pirate. Like, can I play this to fatigue? <laughs> I, I, have, I have a lot of acorns, which, you know... Uh, oh, yes, the buff roll off. Yes, amazing. They're drawing off Rally so much that I might just be able to grind this into fatigue. <sighs> uh, Bear off is scary, but I certainly would much rather if it came off that than, uh, than played, because I have such a good board advantage right now. Um, and it, now this will also die if I trade into the bear off, which is pretty cool. I need cards though, right? Like, I'm not going to be able to outgrind them if I don't get cards. Oh, that's a good snipe. Also makes the bear off, uh, just less threatening to them, I guess. Oh, they got the curio back already. Those are good. The lifesteal at this point almost seems kind of pointless because it's like, well, I think I'm going to beat that anyway. Um, probably better off buttoning them here. Probably just hit the bear off, right? Uh, it does kill my squirrel, but it's going to go off anyway, and this softens up their board more than mine at the moment. So I think I want to do this before I play other stuff, right? It's still awkward. It's still not good for me, but it's just going to have to happen at some point, I guess. Um... Let's draw here. This could give me not a good card, unfortunately. Sorry to say. Do so I want to pull a gray bell out? Yeah, I guess I want to pull the gray bells out. Yeah. Seems important. Let's go wide here, um, just so the Grey Bows have more targets and the 2-2 two -two pings maybe a little less impactful. I mean, it's still good, I guess, either way, but I just want to make sure I have Grey Bow rollovers, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I need a draw, man. Maybe I, I don't know, maybe I actually had, oh, six bombs. Oh, crap. That kind of steals my win condition, maybe, because that's, that's 30 right there. I needed like a composting. Maybe I should have held that for the composting. I don't know. I don't think so, but. Because I have to be able to keep up on board or I'm definitely going to lose. Hit a Grave Out minion. Oh, wow. It snipes the one non Grave Out! Okay, this is actually pretty intriguing, isn't it? Um. I want to trade my dudes in to get the gray bows back. Right? So what's the best way to do that? Uh, Just a sip. I'm only going to have the two gray bows and no other minions. Oh, I can ping one of the gray bows. Um, so trade these both in. Hit one of the gray bows. Pop with hero power, then run one into the 4-3. I don't want to hear power because I want to. I want to Faerus's blade it and end up with both gray bows and an empty board. And I want to. I want to ping one of the gray bows off to get it. The two twos on my side. Uh, this is what I'm. Ex I don't know if this is actually the best way, but I'm at least going to show you what I mean. And now I ping off a gray bow to get extra minions on my side and guarantee the gray bow chain. This takes a little more damage, but I think this ends up in the best board position for me, right? Blood. I, I, I don't know that for sure, but whatever. Um, 
I don't know, those six bombs, dude. That's, oh, that's good too. Oh God, that's a really good minion. I, I guess I can just hero power that guy though. And then start farming it off my hero, my weapon. Oh, but he's gonna proc it anyway. Yeah, shoot. Okay, that gets the gray bow bounce. Thankfully, that's good news. Taking four. The death total always goes off. So we gotta keep that in mind. I can actually just clean these up if I want, but it's like so scary. Armor here's good though. <laughs> uh do I hero power them? I I think I do actually, so I can just farm the Feyoris up really hard, right? Uh, I do want one Greybow out here, though, so maybe I just do this once, yeah. I don't actually don't know if this is right again. I just always want one Greybow out to deny their weapon, right? So, that may have been wrong. I, I don't know. It's good enough. Whatever the case. Oh, the Whirlwind, I forgot about that. That brings both Greybows out. Uh, but that's fine, because I have a backup minion, so that's actually good. So they're down to 10. Still a long way to go, man. This game is so crazy, guys. I had to go 20 minutes ago. We're not even through this freaking game. Hit, hit a Greybow, please. Don't snipe the 2-1, please. Hit a Greybow, please. Hit a Greybow, please. Even better, hit a Greybow. Nice, thank you. Okay, they get a Wool Cleaver. It actually helps the fatigue game plan. We know the armor's gone anyway, so... Wicker Claw, huh? What do you know about that? Uh... Room to grow. Okay. Room to grow. This is kind of intriguing. As much as I can, I want to hear part of my own stuff, right? Because that gives me the two twos instead of them, right? Another wool cleaver. My God, you are a, a genius at getting wool cleavers, dude. So this is 22 or well, 33 now. They're at 60. The the thing is pretty nuts now like he's gonna get bigger and bigger every turn hopefully he doesn't get sniped here right that 6-6 six, six is pretty good here yeah shoot i mean it's fine whatever i have two two great boys still murloc holmes is actually kind of cool oh interesting um Out of my woods. Do I start hitting face yet? I gotta decide, right? Um, I think it's not time yet because I can't win. I'm gonna do this one more time. Okay, I think I think now we can maybe start hitting face. I'm kind of in this race against bombs, so I can't wait forever, but I also don't want to go too soon. Ah, oh, that's good again, too. Man, they are really... Oh, that helped a little. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, Harbor Scamp? Do I have a pirate? No. Oh, I do! Jerry Rig Carpenter, actually. Oh, that's nuts. I get some even more cards, too. Okay. Cool. Um... All right. Okay, they're gonna draw more. In a box. Mm, if they can ever kill everything all at once, I'm actually in trouble because I lose my gray bows. Oh, Ranker! Wow, that is really good right now because it kills both gray bows. Oh, but they go on the Merlock home, so that's okay at the moment. That's actually fine. <laughs> that wouldn't be the end of the world. Thank God Merlock Holmes has three health instead of two. They could have tried to snipe the Murloc Holmes there. 
Would have been pretty risky, I guess. Oh my god, the South Sea deckhand actually gonna work for us, huh? So they're leaving me both Grey Bows again. That's cool. Cult Neophyte. I actually might just rank her anyway. I don't know. So this is 45 damage now. Oh, that is intriguing, isn't it? In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. Suddenly a very sticky board. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. We're gonna go face. We're finally turning the corner. Oh, that's sick art. I've never even seen it before. Okay. Man, it's still technically not enough. But I mean, I think between the board and everything else. Oh, that's a good weapon, actually, for once. Well, I mean, they still actually get to attack with it, I guess. So they're at 32. Of course, they get an Olga now. It's pretty likely, actually, at this point. They have two cards left in deck. I didn't even realize. Oh, my God. So... Curio and Pouch both are good, but they don't they don't go infinite, importantly. That was actually still really insane. Jeez. So I can hit here. Surely that's lethal, right? It's still actually not, I don't think. It's really close though. Oh, that helped. That helped. I think that's enough, right? I hit for this doesn't fall off, right? It actually does does re-up, right? Yeah, okay. So that's 17. There are 29. I have 17, 21, plus 10 is 31. I don't even know, man. I don't have any idea. Party portal's fine, whatever. Uh, this is a death rattle. So it kind of is good in a way because it does get sticky, but I, I don't think I'm willing to take the, the three for what is a pretty meager minion. All right. We actually played that guy to the end of his deck in duels. That is unheard of. He had one card left, which I think was the upgraded Curio, or might have been in hand, we don't know, but... Guys, I, I had to go 30 minutes ago. This run is... I, I oh, man, that game took... That game took 26 minutes. Jeez. Yeah, what is the record for a Juggernaut on board and still winning? Yeah. That was crazy. I thought we might have been in trouble with those bombs, but we had so many cards in deck. I guess like 10 of them or something were acorns, though. So I don't know. It may not. It may have been like what? Uh, maybe like six out of 20 on bombs or something. I don't I don't think the opponent handled the gray bows especially well, but I also I don't know that there was a way to. So maybe that's silly to say. I don't know that there was a good path to handle those. I don't know that I handled it particularly well either, to be honest. It's kind of hard to figure out the bright manipulations with hero powers and everything else. I don't know. Alright. Uh, turn 1 Oracle is actually not crazy against Warlock, I think. The question is, will we draw the follow-up or not? Or is that too greedy? I think it's a decent chance we'll draw the follow-up. Let's try for it. Let's dig for an egg here. We want, uh, no, that's not the egg we want, but you know, if I have to, I'll take it. Certainly not terrible. It's a lot of card draw, so. Don't play a one drop, don't play a one drop, don't play a one drop. Don't play a one drop. Yeah, that's probably okay. Oh no, it summons an imp, it's not okay. Never mind. that's awful. That's worst case scenario. Uh, Oh, this is good for us, though. This kind of sets me up for the top hat next turn, potentially. Depending on how these trades go and stuff. 
Uh, so this looks like a pretty aggro deck. Uh, Battle Totem is scary. Extra cards are scary. We need to win the tempo here, which I think we will. We're going to trade in here and go face, I bet. I can go top hat. Um, trade button. Uh, it's not ideal. So again, I think that... I think the top hat. I don't know. Did these two twos get the top hat? I don't know. I still don't. I still don't know. After all this time. Oh, Acorn's good because that gives me a for sure top hat target. Okay. Cool. This is good too, actually, uh, to coin next turn. So that's nice. Another Acorn. Wow. That is really nice and super unlikely. I feel like. Well, I guess we did have eight in there. It's not that unlikely. Never mind. That's actually not that crazy. But important. Very nice. We needed that tempo back. Uh, I cannot coin this yet, by the way. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we're on we're on three mana. So do we go like Oracle Coin Party Portal? <laughs> Just get two party portals down. <laughs> I mean, the coin gets wasted on the party portal, but eh, it's intriguing. I guess it depends on how empty the board is, right? I, honestly, we might. We might. We might. <laughs> Oracle coin portal, dude. Uh, oh, defile. Wow. Breaks my top hat chain. That's crazy. I think since the board is empty. Oh, no. We, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't have mana for that. So, yeah. Let's do it, guys. I don't care. Whatever. Double party portal. Screw it. I don't even have... I don't even have a good spell for it. Like, I can solar, but I don't have a follow-up. I, I I will just see. I'm probably going to play Haunted Creepers, but maybe they'll freak out by this and, you know, kill the portals or something. Who knows? I think this is actually worse than... Okay. Um. Oh, actually, does that help me? Because now I get a better... I get four mana minions summoned instead <laughs> instead of two mana minions, right? <laughs> I think I just do it, right? It's two four drops. Are two four drops better than haunted creep? Well, the problem with the haunted creepers is board space is locked out. I think I do it, guys. I think I just burn this for four drops. Okay, yeah, sure. Now I have Teacher's Pet on five. Um, they're they're still gonna prioritize these three things when they don't actually do anything for me. They're all garbage to me right now. I mean, I guess Oracle has some upside if I if I want, but I'm probably gonna go this route instead. So I doubt that's a real concern. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. So funny, dude. Okay, they're actually gonna kill that instead. All right, I guess they still have trades into the zero four, so makes sense. Uh, you know, I think we're gonna go grave out here. We've kind of historically favored the pets early, but I just haven't done any damage or won the tempo yet. So I think the grave out value line at the moment is just slightly better. Like I'm gonna need to grind this game a little further, it looks like, right? So we'll just grave out a grind. We're at nine wins, by the way. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. It's crazy. Haven't heard of me. Tamsin School Spirits. Okay. Does isolate the Grave Out at the moment, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. I think I'm going to pull back plenty of stuff, right? Should be okay. Let's go ahead and take care of this, right? I, I just, uh, you know, it's it's clean. It's clean. Now we've really, really cemented the board advantage here. We know there's another school spirits, which isn't a problem. At the moment, anyway. It's definitely good later. We've got a lot of token boards. So I may want to try to suss that out before we go, like, Haunted Creeper or Hero Power regularly, right? Uh, some good stuff there. Not anything crazy, though. Tamsin, I guess, is the best bet. Henchman gets bigger again, I suppose, right? Could be a henchman. What's my favorite class in World of Warcraft? Uh, I don't know. I played Priest in Vanilla. When I came back for Legion, I, I liked Paladin a lot. I, I think I like more holy classes. Probably Paladin, really. I like the, like, holy knight sort of uh, fantasy. I liked being a big shielded 
armored plate wearing holy knight kind of guy. But I like uh I like Druid a lot too. I never really played Druid in WoW though, I guess, but I like the idea of it more than execution. Um I don't know, whatever, they're all cool. I like it all. Wow, 1011. That seems like a hero power target to me, boys and girls. I don't know about you guys. That seems like a ripe, juicy hero power target. Uh, does the school spirits here ever really mess with me? I kind of have to think about this math a little bit. Um, like, trade, trade. I think I always have minions left, right? So let's just let's just go face. I don't know. Three priests in a row on ladder. Wow, that's that's rare right now. That's kind of crazy. I played both Horde and Alliance. In vanilla, I played Alliance. In uh, Legion, I played Horde. Man, are they gonna be able to make this Grave Die last? Like, surely not, right? I assumed I had to be safe on these. On these uh, teacher's pets, but now I'm like sort of nervous. Because the second teacher's pet, Death Rattle, actually goes off. Oh no, this is fine. Grave out on the 3 1. It's fine. School spirits here will stack into the 3 3 and the new Grave out, so that's fine. If that's what they go for. Because Grave Owl will summon before the other Grave Owl dies. If they die simultaneously here, anyway. Right. The 3 1 will summon the Grave Owl because he got the Grave Owl Death Rattle before the Grave Owl. And then that will get the Grave Owl Death Rattle on top of it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So they did a lot there to kind of not do a lot, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to play another Grave Owl. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and hero power that egg. Let's just do that too. All right. Thanks for the coins. Okay. So this is four gray bows now in the pool. Like, well, I mean, once this, this one dies, but there's two there and then two there. Each of these gray bows has multiple gray bow layers, which is pretty sweet. And it's going to win us the game. Cool. That was a scary start, but... Uh, the double, double party portal into the cult neophyte actually worked out pretty well, I gotta say. That was kind of wild. How did that happen? Hey, Zeroshio, what's up? Yo, dog. I heard you like Grey Bow. So I got you a Grey Bow inside your Grey Bow for a Grey Bow so that you could Grey Bow the Grey Bow and then you're going to want to Grey Bow the Grey Bow after you Grey Bow the Grey Bow so that anytime they kill your Grey Bow, they get a Grey Bow with 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 a Grey Bow. And that 100% made sense. You can double check all that math. Um, I did not think this deck would get to 10 wins, but here we are. I'm probably going to have to put this on YouTube now, which means that shameful warrior game. <laughs> I just had an absolute meltdown is going to go on YouTube. Great. I can't wait. Can't wait. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of windows for videos though right now because of all the um, expansion stuff. Do, do, do. This deck will get 12 wins. Well, thanks for jinxing it. We really appreciate that. First time catcher, the stream, long time viewer of YouTube. Nice to catch you on Twitch. Thanks for the nice content. Well, thank you, Burjim, for the kind words. <laughs> I don't want to rewatch that 40-minute Warrior game. Well, that's not the game I was talking about, but yeah, that one's going to be fun for YouTube, too. To unjinx it, it'll get 13 wins. Wow, smart. That's sneaky. Sneaky. Uh, da, da, da. I thought duels was getting more popular, but man, this is a long queue time. I have a conspiracy. It's not really a conspiracy. I don't know. I have a theory. It's not a conspiracy. It's just a theory that I, I think I have personally, I mean, as a cooperative with all of you on the stream, of course, I think we've made an impact on the duels play rates. I think it's probably gone up a little. 
I see so many people in comments and stuff who say, I never played duels. Since you've been playing it, I started playing duels, which I think I think it has to be significant enough to be captured in the data to be like noticeable. We I, I get like 50,000 or more views on a duels video. Surely that's enough people to like uptick the numbers at least a little. I'm not gonna take personal credit for it. It's obviously the game mode that's that's um that's fun is why it's happening, but you know. Hopefully I helped urge that along at least a little. Yeah, the quest too. Yeah, the quest too helps, yeah. I sure hope the game mode re remains, um, you know, supported and stuff. I'll be really sad if we lose duels. Uh, oh, hey, here he goes. Alrighty, Demon Hunter's scary, but maybe we get a taunt wall down with Grey Bows and stuff, and, uh... I never thought I'd Bruce? Teacher's Pet might be worth keeping for that very reason. Uh, Jerry Rig could give me a decent turn two sometimes if it hits Warden's Insight, but that's not that likely. I think I just push for specifically Death Rattles, right? Mummy Magic is so freaking good that we just, I think we have to push it. Yeah, we can do Squirrel. I mean, Coin Merlock Holmes isn't terrible, and then Squirrel on two with the Hero Power. Well, that may not be bad, actually. Oh, this deck sucks to play against, dude. I hate playing against this deck. Oh, we definitely go Egg. Scratch everything I said previously. Egg is the OP hit here. Now we have Hero Power Squirrel and get the 4 4 out. It's great. Gives me a line throughout the course of this early game. Oh, Curio is scary early. Man, they got wide fast. I would have actually been okay with them popping the egg in this case. Normally you don't want them to, but here it would have actually been pretty decent because there's the second egg anyway. So I just would have gotten a 4-4 faster, you know? I mean, if it comes down to wide boards, I think we're definitely going to end up with a better wide board. But the question is, like, who can get the lethal hit sooner? Because they can pump out a lot of damage in this deck. They don't have a way to discount, though, it looks like, inherently, so that might be nice. Oh, no, oops, all spells discounts. What am I saying? They absolutely do have a way to discount. That's oops, all spells. Discount by one. So that is spooky. Oh, my God. Hit, 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 hit an egg. Hit an egg. I want the 4-4. Four four. Oh, come on. Really? They are snipers, dude! I mean, can you believe this? I mean, look at this. They are already at 10 damage this turn. They just started the turn. Uh, I'm, I'm about to cry. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm just about to cry, guys. I think I'm going to hold this. I think I need to, like, maybe coin a teacher's bet. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, did they not hit? Wait. <laughs> Why am I 31? Did they not attack? Wait! <laughs> Rewind! Did they not? They missed 19. Did they forgot to attack? You're kidding me. They did not forget to attack. Wait, what is this? Crap. 
freaking silence all minions up. Oh, crap. Uh... Just gonna have to go wide here then, right? Like... Whatever, I don't care. This is fine. I can't play the teacher's pet if they're gonna silence it, right? I have to get... I have to get the taunt value out of this. I love that I got no stats, though. That's that's exactly what I was looking for, is the no stat line. Yeah, I should be at five. Yeah, I, I don't even... I didn't even notice you. I just assumed. That is so crazy. Oh, that mana burn actually wrecks me because I can't get a taunt down now. Oh, I guess I can still play Druid of the Reef. That might be okay. Yeah, I, they, they, I should pretty much be dead. Yeah, I think I have to Druid of the Reef. Just in case it makes the difference. And then we'll try to get the Teacher's Bet next turn when I have the mana. We're probably not going to get there in time, but yeah, we'll try. We'll try. I cannot believe it. I didn't even note it. Like, what did they, did they, I saw them emote the oops. I just thought that was like them BMing. I guess they just literally forgot to attack or maybe the reviewer. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just BMing and the viewer and, oh my God. Well, that's actually better now than later. I'd, I'd rather get this stabilized. So they had a wand in this deck as well. Like how insane is that? I mean, if I can get enough of these going, like, we might actually have a chance still. I just have to get the damage somehow, though. Do not tell me they have another silence, by the way. They've already used double consume magic wand and the sigil. If they have another way to silence, I'm going to be, like, heartbroken. No outcast cards left. Okay. That actually tells us a little bit about their, their deck. I need that freaking branching path, or I'm just going to die to... Stupid idiots. I'm gonna die to stupid idiots. Oh, plated beetle. Let's go. Um, yeah, for sure, right? I need the armor. You never know. You never know. I'm gonna hold this until I don't have another taunt available. You know, like it might be important on a given turn as opposed to now if they like board clear or something. I mean, they're like close to fatiguing out. <sighs> Can I get there? 16 health. Fire Shaper pings are scary, but I mean, they technically only have 15 cards right now. And a lot of pings will hit minions. So if they can't get through these taunts successfully, like, it won't matter about Fire Shaper pings. Well, I guess they can double up on spells, though, too. That's two for one, basically. Tending Torrens, not terrible, I guess. Skull again. Oh, my God. They are in fatigue, basically. Oh no, they got a silence. No! Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. This is a two-part taunt. Can they get through both parts without, but while, oh my God, they are literally in fatigue. What, that is an outrageous amount of draw. Oh, don't snipe it, please! Oh, they get to hit for 10 here to face, or, or more, maybe. God, hit a taunt, hit a taunt, please hit a taunt. Hit a taunt, hit a taunt! It's an owl. Am I dead here? No way am I dead here. At least the... <sighs> oh, the Chaos Strike's gonna do it. Oh my god. If they didn't time out... Oh my... Did they attack with this? Wait, did they one off? No, it's exact. I, I can't believe it! <laughs> the stupid ping snipes! And the throw glaive! Unbelievable. I got I'm glad though because I gotta go. I'm I, I wanted to leave 45 minutes ago. This run just would not end. Okay. Good good run regardless. We should have been dead 10 turns ago, obviously, if they just hadn't hadn't missed uh, 19 damage. Uh okay. Uh let's open our packs. And yeah, I don't want to open Burke's packs, who cares? Alright. And I will see you all not tomorrow actually, but I'll see you all Monday. So come back Monday, more shenanigans, more duels, more goofing around until the expansion stuff hits. Oh, fancy, good pack. Very nice. 
All right, thank you everybody for hanging out. And uh, let me drop a raid before I go. There's a lot of you here, so we'll be sure to share the love with the next thank you everybody person. For hanging out and uh, let me drop a raid. As we get a loop going. Who's going to get a raid? Somebody with no viewers. Uh, all right, here you go. Have fun on the raid, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Love you a ton. Uh, see you soon. Stay tuned for more card reviews when more cards and stuff are hitting. Uh, stay tuned for more duels. Check the VOD on the VOD channel later if you want. And uh, love you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And until next time, game on.